And good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Music Free Gaming. All the gaming of those other streams, but none of the music. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. It is a beautiful, beautiful Saturday, and uh, I'm looking forward to playing some Minecraft. Also, uh, just as a special warning, I don't have the uh, my typical uh, out stuff that I have to do at in the morning. Like, I went grocery shopping last night. My wife and daughters are going to be gone, so this might end up being a bit of a longer stream, which uh, is awesome. So, yeah, <laughs> I can certainly hope. So, oh, one thing, too, I want to talk about before I dive into the Minecrafty goodness of it all. I'm excited because this is last week was my birthday. So thank you, everybody who was at the birthday stream. That was super awesome. But my wife got me this lovely thing yeah so i've got a i've got a green screen here just waiting to be put together so so that's going to be fun and exciting so i'm looking forward to that um all right let's go ahead and get into the game because i want to try to get up on the nether roof today and that's going to be that, that shouldn't be bad shouldn't be bad i but we'll see all right so let's jump into gameplay that button gotta be sure you gotta be sure you hit the right buttons you know helps all right and i've got my my ah cheese monkeys t-shirt so this should work out all right if you want an ah cheese monkeys t-shirt exclamation point uh merch in the chat and it'll get you a link there all right so do i have what i need this is <laughs> this is the first thing also if you don't want cheese monkeys on a t-shirt you can get it on lots of other things so yeah so all right so let's see what i'm going to need here i'm going to need some obsidian some cobblestone some levers some pistons and some tnt so i have so basic and, and of course ender pearls because you can't get onto the nether roof without ender pearls so here's the deal <laughs> and you know it may or may not be a good deal we'll find out Unlike the merch store, which has a good deal going on, if you use the old, the coupon code old guy 44 yeah, I get 5% off. That's going to be awesome. Okay, so here's the deal. You need to enter Pearl onto the roof, and then you can blow lots of stuff up. That, at least that's the idea, right? So, because basically, I've this is going to, be a prelude to a couple of things uh, one i do want to build a gold farm and i want to build a new um, i want to build a piglin trading hall connected to that gold farm in some way so it's gonna be fun and exciting but we've got lots of things to do and the first thing i have to do is get on the roof how's it going there corky welcome welcome Yes, well, you know, it's, that's an interesting question. Do I? I don't care what time it is for me. I actually care what time it is for me because I have to know when to start the stream. <laughs> but welcome, welcome. Hope your uh, day is going well. And let's see if I can get up here. Now, I found a spot here, oh, a while back. I was just fiddling around in here, and I found... Um, yeah, I found a spot, I think, yeah, right over here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. So that block right there is perfect for, uh, getting up on the nether roof. Alright, so, let's go ahead and, actually, you know what, just to make this a little bit more obvious for myself as I come through here. there now it should be obvious enough with the uh, ladders but still All right um oh yes you're in uh nine thirty you're probably eastern time zone i'm in u.s mountain time zone so it's uh 7 30 here all right so let's see minus 220 and minus 37 
minus 220 and minus 37. All right, let's just remind myself that. Minus 220 and minus 37. Boom. Okay. Good, because I'm going to need that. Okay. So now, whip out the uh, ender pearls. And let's see if I can... Okay. So I guess... I can do that. Okay. All right. Great. <laughs> Got it. All right. So right there. <sighs> okay. 220 and minus 37. Right? Yes. All right. Sweet. Uh, streams at a different time would be different. Well, you know, I play Minecraft, so, you know, <laughs> it's going to be different. Um, yeah. This one might be a bit longer. Saturday one is always a little longer, but today it's going to be longer still. Because I don't need to do all of the uh, grocery shopping and stuff that I usually have to do. Oh, crap. Sorry. That... <sighs> Thank you, Riot. Given that I just sort of slipped my own family-friendly filter there for a minute, I forgot to drop off all of my uh, stuff in an ender chest. Well, okay, fortunately, I have an ender chest. I was just going to leave it elsewhere, but... All right. This way, I'm not going to lose all of my gear. Okay, we'll just throw this all in the ender chest. I was just going to leave it down where it was easier to get to, but this will work. Okay. 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 Um, I do not like golf and I'm cars are okay, but I'm not like super into them. All right. So let's see now how this is going to work. So I need to put an obsidian there. To, okay, now I've got enough materials on me. What I don't have, I don't have a flint and steel. If I screw this up enough times, I'm going to starve to death on the nether roof because I can't get down. Oh boy, this is going to be an adventure. Alright, so that's going to go there. Okay. Those are your hobbies. Awesome. All right, I'm going to throw a couple of torches out here just for light. They are going to probably cease to exist here in a moment. All right. So, yeah. Cool. So that's going to go there. Now I need the TNT. Goes there and there. Need the levers, need the trap doors. But I've got everything. I did make sure before the stream started that I had everything. All right. So, let's see. The idea is you hop under here. Now, I don't have an auto-clicker. So, here's the trick, apparently. According to the video I watched this morning about how to do this. So, I'm going to hit a control. Change the place button to something else. All right. All right. So, now, what I need to do is I need to hit... Make sure I'm on the piston. Okay. Hit that. And then, uh oh, right button. Okay, crap. I did not do that correctly. Okay, because I ended up right clicking and not. Okay. All right, let's try this again. So I've got enough materials. I can do this a couple of. T uh oh. Make sure this is the right block. All right. So this goes there of course i i still have my stuff in the wrong, on the wrong button so all right so that goes there is there all right okay we're, I, i'm gonna get this okay so you squish down there make sure i've got the right button going okay you hit that button and then that button right there Okay, I know this works. I did actually, I actually tested this this morning in a uh, creative world. 
It's like, okay, can I get up on the roof? Yes. Can I blow stuff up? Yep. And it worked first try. So. All right, hang on a sec. I need to double check just real quick. <laughs> Make sure I've got that all set up correctly and this should be fine. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna starve to death on the nether. All right, so that's gonna go there like that. Goes there. Trap door goes there. Holy, this is going to be crazy. Oh, excuse me. As I take a drink from my exclusive music-free gaming water bottle. Yeah. It is, uh, it's actually really nice. Okay. It's always nice when things are work correctly. All right, so let's try this now. All right, so you hit that. Uh-oh. This is going to break. Ah! Because I can't hit buttons. Jeez, monkeys. All right. All right. I, I did this first try when I was working on this this morning. Just to see, can I make this work? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to starve to death on the nether. <sighs> yeah, sure I did. Yeah, that's exactly right, Johnny Man. Exactly right. It's like Batman in the Lego movie. First try. Okay. Now, I need to be on the piston. Okay. All right. Oh, you know what? I'm going to, because I've never done this before. All right. Um, let's start a new prediction. <laughs> Will I starve on the nether roof? Well, let's get something that maybe is. <laughs> yeah. Um, starve on the nether roof. Okay. Outcome one, yes. Outcome two, no. All right. What you, all right, so let's do this. You've got um, 30 seconds. We start this prediction, and uh, <laughs> you got 30 seconds. What do you think? Am I going to survive this or not? <laughs> uh, I've got I have enough TNT. I can do this one more time. <laughs> so if I if I screw this up, um, I am yes. So I've got this. I've got one more attempt. This doesn't work. I'm going to end up starving to death up here. <sighs> all right. <laughs> you used all of your channel points. All right. So now. Okay. Make sure I'm on the right button. Okay. I'm going to actually take my shield off so I don't. Okay. So activation thing. All right. I have backup obsidian. I forgot to bring flint and steel because I am an idiot and uh, we're just going to make sure this, And it, you know, it's, it's one thing when you sit and do this, oh, I'm just going to test this before stream, make sure it works. No problem. And then, uh, oh yeah, let's do this while on stream because streamer brain doesn't cause any problems at all. No. All right, here we go. So, hit that button. Target right about there, and... Oops. Well, that was not how that was supposed to go. Hang on. Let's uh, clean up this extra obsidian I just put there because I'm an idiot. All right, so... I'm, I'm obviously doing something wrong. I don't know what it is, but something I'm doing wrong. Let's see. Because I, do I target? Yeah, because I, I you try to put the uh, piston. Okay, make sure I'm on the right block here. This would be horrible if I... Uh... Okay. Okay, you know what's really good is getting it in the right place. I cleaned off that extra obsidian I put in. 
And I took off the wrong one. That's cool. All right. So this comes out. Great. All right. All right. So yes. So 220, 37. No. That's 220, 37. Okay. All right. I'll get this. I'll get this. I have one more chance. So, uh, all right. 220, 37 is actually right where I placed the subsidian. So, perfect. Okay. So, that's where this goes. Subsidian goes there. Some blast proof, blast resistant bl block goes there. TNT. TNT. Trap door. Lever. Okay. I. Yeah. Because <sighs> I know how this is supposed to go. All right. We, we, we got. <laughs> this is. Oh, I'm I'm a little I'm a little scared. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I'm a little uh, freaked out. Why? All right. So the idea is you trigger the thing. The TNT blows, blows, and the in theory, if you get the piston in here correctly, I think you target right about there. Just works. I have some concerns. Oh, believe me, Sprite. I have all of the concerns myself. <sighs> okay. Last chance. Otherwise, I'm starving to death on the nether. All right. <laughs> also, morning, Sprite. <sighs> Oops, that was the wrong button. Okay. I did want to put my... Say we take off, <laughs> nuke the site for more of it. It's the only way to be sure. That's exactly right. Okay. No, if this doesn't work, I am 100% cheating. I am telling you this right now. If this does not work, I am cheating. There will, there will be cheating. <sighs> okay. I'm on the piston. All right. So we use that. Ah! No, 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 no. I'm dead. I got ended up getting out from underneath the block and I All right. That's it. I I so the all right. So, sadly, yeah. Because I I could have put flint and steel in there. I yes the 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 my problem the problem I had. Okay, and I don't have anything here. Is that? Uh, That's it. Yeah, laugh. La Let's all laugh at the really cool guy. No, um. <laughs> yeah, so the idea, right? You get all this stuff in there like that. Is that while this is extended. Oh, which it can't right now because of the. Uh, I don't have a TNT on it. But that should extend, which it does. And then. But then I popped out from underneath this because I accidentally hit the uh, my left right button instead of my use button. All right. All right. Every okay. So. All right. So let's see here. Let's. Where is the. Viewers predict the outcome of it. Okay. Now, I've never done a prediction before, so we'll see if this actually works. Um, so, this there isn't a prediction running. So, I guess 
Maybe I screwed it up. Which it's pretty well par for the course here. All right. So actually, I know this is the right spot because if I uh, free cam on here, right? That's the. This is the. Uh, the block. The problem is I'm not breaking the nether. So. I could. So I've got two options here, right? I can come over here and I can go into creative. And then I could just accidentally break that block, right? Because if I do that, then we'll just pretend that it works. And, you know, we just don't have to tell anybody, right? Right? That's how that works. Well, then we just kind of do that and um, we're fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. <laughs> All right, so the <laughs> pro, yes, that's it. I am a pro Minecrafter. All right, what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see, which way do I go? This way. All right, I am going to go down. I'm just going to go down and pick up some materials. And then I'm going to put that back and I'm going to blow it up for real. And just to annoy myself, I'm apparently going to leave my uh, settings wrong. Let's try this. Control. Oops. That button. Okay. Back to the game. Okay. <laughs> I are professional. You can tell. All right. So I'm just going to go get some more TNT. I've got all the other stuff I need. And since I ran the prediction wrong, y'all uh, get to keep all of your channel points and stuff because I screwed that up. Since it's the very first time I've tried to run a prediction. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, we're gonna be fine. All right, so I need sand. That's sandstone, which is like sand, except it's completely inappropriate for my needs. I've got a lot of sandstone. I don't have sand, really? All right, well, that's changing now. Let's go get, you know. I watched this, you know what? Hang on, well, no, I need to get sand first. I am going to blow that up correctly. I'm just going to... I just got myself out of a stupid mess so that I can be sure to blow it up lots of times normally. I also decided to leave my horse... Be Whoa. That's just a stupid thing to leave lying around. Okay. 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 We, we got this. Yes, there is the... Uh, What's the argument? You can't consider yourself a pro unless you're doing it full time. All right. We'll just uh... now, if I had more TNT, I've got one on me. But if I had more than that, I would 100% be blowing this desert to smithereens. But I don't. So okay. So what is it? That's 54 get some of this and then we'll go back and I'll creative my way put the put the bedrock back and then we'll, we'll try to blow it up again the right way preferably without me you know doing something really stupid now that is probably never going to happen we're gonna watch a music free gaming stream where he doesn't do anything stupid that's impossible that just not happened Yes, and yes, I use the word impossible because that's how not possible it is. It's so bad that even grammar fails. Because, yeah. All right, so I've got this. I've got plenty of gunpowder over here at the mob farm. See, this is going to look really cool when I get the tower up around on that side and that side. 
That's gonna look sweet. But I don't have that there yet. So in the meantime, it's just gonna rain mobs for a little bit. All right, that should be good. Should be fine. Everything's fine. Fine. Yes, now. <laughs> All right, so let's get in here, craft up enough TNT to blow up, uh, to blow a hole in the nether, which yeah, seems reasonable. All right, so this should work. All right. All right. Where's my portal? All right, it's over here. Ah, sweet. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll be okay. Now, I actually don't know quite where that portal would let out if I were to put one up there. Awfully close to this one, so I don't know. But, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Meanwhile, that guy's just going to sit there and not be able to get me. All right. All right, so we'll hop up here and, you know, do this the right way. Because honestly, I, I, <laughs> I should have recorded myself uh, tearing this hole out when I was in uh, my creative test world. So I'm just going to uh, slip up here. Now, let's let's reset. We're going to pretend like the last uh, five minutes didn't happen, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some bedrock. It goes there. And do I still have? Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to get rid of the bedrock. Okay. Now I'm back in survival. Okay. Um, well, I was in survival mode when I did the test. I just used creative to get up on the roof. So, yeah. See, that goes like that. Okay. Okay. Interesting. All right. So let's, again, I don't want to blow myself up. Apparently be a first for me. All right. Hey, I've gone into creative now, so maybe it will make a difference here. All right, so now, all right, so that goes there and that goes there. Next thing, come back here. All right, I will do this, options, controls. All right, use places on that. Oh, it's Sprite. Thank you for that resub. Yeah, that is awesome and amazing, and so are you, especially for 13 months. That's just nuts. Man, you are, you are amazing. Again, music free water, gaming water bottle. See, cool. All right, let's. All right, so let's make sure. All right, oops. Take that off, because you don't go there. All right, I'm just making sure the button works. Yep, button works. All right, now let's do this without, make sure I'm on the piston. That goes there, that goes right there. I think that worked. I think that worked. It worked! Ha 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 ha! Ha See? First try. Alright. It just took Boom Sprite Gaming uh, resubbing to make that work. <laughs> that, that's what it is. That's what it is. It was just... Uh... <laughs> woot woot! Alright, so now... My 
Ferris Bueller, you're my hero. All right, cool. Got it. Got it, got it. All right. <sighs> See? It's that easy. <laughs> All right, so let's get all my gear back. <laughs> Ferris Bueller's Day Off is a fun movie. I don't uh, watch it as much as I used to, but... Uh... All right, cool. Sweet. Now, oh, I do need to make sure that's not spawnable, so... We'll throw a torch on top of that. That should take care of that. What a desolate place this is. Okay, cool. <sighs> Yay. All right, nice. So, the next thing I'm going to have to do, because uh, I am going to be putting a gold farm up there, because that's one of the reasons you want to get up on the onto the nether, or the nether roof. I think I've got a couple of places I want to... Uh, go. I don't want to take it this way. Because coming out this way, there is another waste over here. Oh, there's also uh, squishy lava pants over here. Hello, squishy lava pants! Um, and the reason I want to go this way is there's there's a fortress and I want to build a uh, wither skelly farm. So I can get a, get a few wither skulls for beacons and things. All right, great. You all get to be dead now. I have just done the impossible. You can all die. What was it? Uh, Alice in Wonderland? Say, do three impossible things every day? Well, I've just done one. So. All right, great. All right, so we'll head back here. Now, I've got a nice nether waste. This was the literally the worst nether I have ever hopped into. Uh, but now I could put it here because I think I'm in a uh, basalt delta. As I, yeah, I end up nether wasting it out this way. So coming out this way would be the perfect spot, I think, for. And then straight up through the nether, right up there would be the perfect spot for this. So, yeah. That's a plan for another day once I know exactly how I want to do this. But, Ooh. all right. Well, that was, that was an adventure. All the kaboom. And now all the darkness. All the darkness, all the trouble. I've come to run through you again. Then it's gonna be sleepy time. And I don't know how I'm going to rhyme. So I sleep. Alright. Sweet. Okay. Oh, nice. I feel happy now. <laughs> Alright. Anything else I want to throw in there? Yeah. For the moment, no. Okay. Yeah, see? It's just a... Actually, I think part of the problem was I wasn't quite... On those other ones, I wasn't quite scooted forward far enough, perhaps. So. All right. So I'm back here at the, the beginnings of my uh, farm. I got a bunch of those guys in. Need to get these all set up and I don't have yeah I need to do set up observers and pistons coming all the way down this row I need to do it for that row too for the rest of this mess over here but I don't have the well actually no the problem is I've got villagers there already and that's just a pain because I was trying to be cheap Actually, I wasn't even trying to be cheap. I just didn't have string is what it was. Okay. So. Let's go get some stuff. Now, I did do a little bit of resource gathering off camera. 
So I have some cobblestone, plenty of cobblestone. All right, all the cobblestone I can need, hopefully, to build all of the observers that I need. All right, so let's, 13 is not going to be enough. What am I out of? Cobble. Turns out, it takes a lot of cobblestone to build observers. Okay, that should be enough for now. And I've got pistons. I'll actually, since I still have those leftovers from the nether roof. So I'm kind of thinking that when I get back up there and I build my, I get my gold farm set up, I want to break the nether roof over there. Because I had a thought, which is always dangerous having thoughts. I highly recommend it generally, but sometimes it can just be a, a problem. Uh, what I was thinking is I might take um, take the output of just the ingots, not the um, nuggets, but the ingots, and feed it directly into a piglin trading hall. Right? And that could be an interesting, uh, interesting take. All right, so let's make sure I have this right, because, hey, I've screwed up enough things today, right? Yeah. So, villager stands there with the observer. Observer, not of uh, stuff, yeah. Okay, other than the fact that that's facing the wrong way and uh, is in the wrong spot, that's just perfect. So, basically, every way it could have been wrong, it was. Okay. We'll just uh, slap some stairs down. So, the idea is, and this goes there... The uh, piston. Um, where's that? There it is. So I, I know I've got one of these here somewhere. The piston's going to go right there. That's right. The only thing you have to change is everything you are. That's right. That's right. Oh, I forgot to get some string. It's okay. <sighs> Yeah, you know, it's, 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 that's the corollary to the only consistency of every failed relationship you've ever had in your life is you. Yep. There are days I have felt that one. All right. Okay, so... One of these days, I will heal those guys, but... I was lacking in gold for a while. Like I said, I did a little bit of... I did some exploring and running around a bit off camera last night so I can get those ender pearls and stuff. Because I knew that was going to be a bit of a pain. But it's okay. It's okay. I can do this. That was a pink song. Nice. Oh, this is in the wrong place. Yeah, I think. Make sure. Yeah. So observer goes into a block. And the, the block, when it's retracted, goes directly above the observer. Yeah, okay. So that goes right there. And then the idea is, go to the string. Yeah, which retracts that. I don't, the village is here. That's closed. And everything's wonderful. Say, easy peasy. Right. Right, friends, now we're going to watch how I can't parkour. We're going to have, you know, bad accents and things. It's just how it goes here. I like how I started with a really bad Australian accent and went to a really bad uh, southern accent. So, good to know that I can do bad accents on multiple continents. Okay, so just, all right, I'll go pick those up here in a minute. Since apparently I'm going to drop many of these as I go around. Okay. The other fun that's going to be part of this, it's going to be 
we're gonna have another round of Pearl Stalker does Redstone, which uh, is always an adventure. All right. Okay. That one. And that one. Cool. Because what I want to do is I want to set up. Uh, basically, I'm going to have run rail. I've already got it running a little bit that way. I'm going to run it all the way back here. With a drop off spot here in this corner. And so I need a couple of things to happen. The first of which will be to turn on and off an activator rail. So that the, uh, if I'm not dropping off villagers, they just keep going. And when they keep going, they will end up over on that corner. We'll all set up the same thing, right? So that the, the idea is that I can basically with a flip of a couple of switches, drop villagers wherever I need them to go at least in a general sense, and they'll figure out where they figure out the rest of it on their own because villagers, while being really, really stupid, have a deep and abiding need to just take somebody's job if they, if it's available. So, you know, it's, well, friends, that observer's in the wrong place. I was going to make a political joke, but I think I'm just not going to. Yeah, there are a couple things. I always have to remind myself. It's a family-friendly stream. Some jokes are not appropriate. And also, this is a politics-free zone. Other than a general joke about how all politicians are inept, um, yeah, I, I try to avoid the... <laughs> So as I get older, the older I get, the more I agree with John Adams. This is one useless man is a disgrace. Two useless men become a law firm, and three or more become a Congress. So you know. All right, and that's it. That is the political content of the stream today. All right. So now let's get these pistons in. Oh, you're about to experiment. Okay. We shall have the experiments. Fortunately, some of you will survive this experiment. And uh, for those of you that do, we salute you. Those that don't, we will forget you and leave you in an unmarked grave to be uh, dug up and eaten by wild beasts. So let's all hope for success here, shall we? Yeah, that, I know that's a little dark for a Saturday morning, but you know, we got we got some things. Hey, Erwin, welcome, welcome. I'm doing okay. I uh, opened up the nether roof, so that's exciting. Totally got it on the first try. Totally. Shout yeah. out to Erwin underscore. Oh, awesome! Thank you for that. Uh, doing that shout out there. Uh -oh. Ah, cheese nuggets. It's annoying when this uh, fire is wrong. It gets out of sync and then all sorts of bad things happen. All right. Weird. Okay. It's like, where did that observer go? Also, how do I get back into the base? All right. We're going this way. I've locked myself out of my own base. It happens. It's sad. But yeah, so I'm going to go research uh, gold farms here in the next week or so. and So I can uh, have all sorts of fun. I don't know if I'm going to find going to build one that's also an XP farm or just gold. But, you know, something like that. It'll be fun. Oh, but my project this week is to set up my new green screen. That's going to be exciting. Try to get some uh, pictures and other things of that going when I, as I get it, as I go through that process. 
because I am not the most uh, DIY friendly person in the world. Power tools and I don't get along. Um, you know, we just... So, it, it's going to be an adventure. Oh, I just didn't select the thing to award or not afterwards. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Sprite. I was realized I screwed up. But awesome. Then I went in to look at it. It's like, well, it's not there. What do I do now? Okay. Cool. So now this is set up. Oh. All right. I need 18 trillion more sticky pistons and also a few more levers and a bunch of birch because now I need to get the floor oh I don't have the uh, okay so I've got the drops here for all of this stuff I'll type prediction in chat to bring it back up ah okay cool or a mod can awesome okay cool see things you learn every day all right, so what I need to do is I need to get 14 million sticky pistons, which is better than 14 trillion. So, you know, excuse me. So we'll get all of this going around here or all of the piston -y goodness. That way I'll be able to uh, feed these guys to zombies if I don't like their prices, which is uh, how shopping works. Ah, okay. <laughs> I got it. I, I'm all for it. You know, let's... Okay, so, we'll just, uh... Whip around here and get all this fun stuff. All this fun stuff. Dirt. It's called dirt. Get this out, because I do need to get... The, um... Uh, get the birch logs in place. Which I may have to go get birch logs now that I think about it. You know, the problem with using a silk touch pickaxe is you have a depressingly small amount of uh, cobblestone when you need it. Alright. And since I don't have efficiency on my, uh, my fortune pickaxe, you know, I can't just do that. I hate having to go down and just mine cobblestone. And I haven't set up a cobblestone generator or anything yet, so... On the plus side, I did have some cobblestone I needed to clean out, so... So there was that. Okay, double check the light levels. Nothing's going to come eat me while I'm not looking. It's bad enough to have something eat you when you are looking, but... Have it come eat you when you're not looking. It's just rude. Okay, yeah, so what I've been doing is I've been cleaning out this area down here. Right, slowly. Right down, down to that end. That's under the, that back tower. That end is under the tower that's going there. The other mob farm. Right, this is under the mob farm. See, they're starting to leave their random goodness. It's probably getting to a point where I can turn the farm off, actually. But I want to clean this out going down for a ways, because this is going to be my my uh, main storage. So, that's going to be its own special breed of fun. So much digging. Alright. Now. So I've got observers all the way around. I've got the pistons all the way around. String is all the way around. Okay. And I have now broken this. This is the one catch. You, you trigger this too fast. And it'll break the first time. Or, you know, all, for all time. Always. Okay, so now it's out. Great. So now if I put that in right there like that. Perfect. All right. Great. Yes, and for those of you who have not seen the Loki show on Disney+, Plus, highly recommend it. It was a fun show. 
All right, so let's go get some birch. So I can get the floor in place, and then I need to get all of the uh, levers and redstone and pistons and all that other stuff. Oh, I should probably make more pistons. Hmm. All right, let's go see what I've got in the way of logs here. Well, 12 is not going to cut it. As much as I'd like to cut it, or like it to cut it. As much as I would like to have proper grammar, I don't. And that's not going to change because I am lazy. So there, take that, English teachers. So let's go get this all, all this good stuff going. I don't remember if there are bees in there or not. I think that actually might be a new hive, so there might be bees in it. That'd be nice. Since I had a couple of other bee nests that spawned, right? And then I just left them there. And then over the course of time, the bees all just wandered off and or died. And so now I have empty hives. It's a case of Minecraft matches reality. Personally, I think the bees are just going back to their home planet to report that the invasion is ready. But, you know, what do I know? Yeah, Pearl English has stopped working. That's right. Time to kill Dash 9, the uh, Pearl English process. I could fire up the uh, Pearl Spanish process, but that would be even worse. So I think we're going to stay here. Yes. That's not a sapling. And while it does look a little bit like a small birch tree, it is not a sapling. Ah. Yes. No, no, hablo espanol bien. All right, so we'll just clean all this good stuff out. Yes, yeah, friends. Okay, now... You guys are just rude. I don't even have my bow on me. All right, and my crossbow broke. It was sad. All right, come here, you people of uh, questionable breeding. Do I have a bucket on me? I do. Perfect. Do I have a cow nearby? That's the... Ah, yes. Okay. Love sas sysadmin means with a sysadmin. Yep. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I may miss a couple of the Windows ones, but I am 100% a Linux guy. I will, I will kill Dash 9 all of your processes. All right. For those of you who don't know, kill is the command to send a signal to a process. Dash nine is the, the signal to end a process without giving it a chance to do any cleanup. That's the end task abruptly option. Okay. Come here. Okay. Cool. If I work this right, here. I'm going to come over here. Now, it turns out pillagers are dumb. They're kind of like villagers in that sense because they're just stupid. If you do it right, these guys, see, it turns out the pillagers don't actually like their boss any better than anyone else does. And, uh, and assuming I don't here. We'll get closer. Come here. There we go. Okay. Then they can kill the, the the head pillager. And maybe... Okay, that's right. You... No, you go. And then, come here. You can be dead. It's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind if you die. There we go. See? They kill the head pillager, and I don't get the bad omen. Is it a little bit cheesy? Yes. Am I okay with that? 
Absolutely. Says the guy who quietly and without anyone noticing ducked into creative so he can go back and get more TNT. Right? Nobody noticed that? It, everyone closed their eyes for that five minutes while I was out doing that? Of course he did. All right. So let's get back here. Oh, believe me, this that clip, uh, it's going to be a blast to edit on YouTube. <sighs> uh, especially because it's TNT. You are not wrong. Says my... My daughter hanging out here in the corner. Okay, she's not actually in the corner. She's lounging on the couch reading a book. But still. Seems like a good way to spend a morning. Okay. So we'll just... Uh, I know, I put that sapling in the wrong place. It's okay. If I were trying to be really efficient about this, I'd have been using bone meal and some form of, uh, some form of farming. <laughs> so my chat says hi. She says hi back, so. Okay. All right, gr grab some of these saplings. Yep, my my wife and kids have a, a thing going on at church today, so I will have the place to myself for a while, which means I can stream for a while until I get hungry and have to stop because I'm just so famished. Which is kind of fun. All right. You know, I'm kind of curious how many of the bees that were flying around here got caught and died because one of the other trees around grew and it caught the bee inside it. I wonder how often that happens. That's one of those things I'm curious about, but not curious enough about to actually do any sort of like testing and stuff. All right. Yeah, because I, I certainly know if a, uh, if a tree grows in the woods and no one's around to save you, you, get, uh, you can suffocate inside the tree. But I don't know if, if a tree grows and there's an animal inside it, does the animal get caught in the tree and then suffocate and die? And if that's the case, would all of these, if this happy little bee, this guy over here, this Bob Ross of bees. If it ends up over here in one of these aspen or aspens, birch trees grows while a bee's there, would it suffocate the bee? Huh. That that is a very very interesting question. I will. I, I'm I'm now curious. Also, I'm in, going to be in need of a new shield here soon, it looks like. Alright. Also, I don't need the ominous banner. Alright. Now, let's go play some birch. Alright, so these are all going to go this way. Because I'm just doing a, a basic checkerboard on this, on this section of floor here. Also, I'm running into the hills that I have yet to clear. On the plus side, I'm going to have so much dirt for my uh, for my potato and carrot farm. It's going to be fabulous. Yep, I was because I was thinking. So I'm going to turn my starter base into a my super smelter. The super smelter is going to go there. So. That's not right. So this one needs to go that way, and this one needs to go this way. There we go. So, yeah. Oops, I'm just gonna screw this up a lot. Anyway, so I'm gonna turn my starter base into my super smelter. So I was thinking what I would do 
is take um, uh, take the output of like the potato and carrot farm, or some of it anyway, and maybe pipe the all the poppies that are coming from my iron farm. Which yeah, there it is, iron farm. Pipe all that nonsense into. Uh, am I at the right place? All right, nope. Uh, pipe all that into a bone meal farm to feed into a kelp farm, which I can then craft up kelp blocks to feed the furnace. Right. That seems like a, a reasonable approach. Now, here's where things get questionable. Ha <laughs> ha! It lined up! I did it right! You know, for those of you who... Uh, like me, occasionally screw up your placements of stuff. All right. Yay. Okay, so go ahead and get the rest of this in. Now, I have been f resisting the urge to try some of the uh, automated tree farm designs I've seen out there. Um, but it's really easy to resist because I don't have any coral. And because I don't have coral, I can't build a TNT duper. So, so that makes it nice, right? Because, yeah, I've seen a number of them. And while I was wandering around doing stuff last night, just, as I said, getting ender pearls and stuff so I can go break the nether roof this morning. I ran into a wandering trader who was selling moss. Oh, you've got the four type tree farm there. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go do all sorts of fun stuff and looking into that. So yeah, so I have moss now. And I saw a really, really nice design. Um, okay, I need pistons. It was, who was it? I think it was Raiseworks. Had a design for, uh, uh, for a, basically an automated moss farm. It combines a stone generator with a bone meal dispenser into a moss block floating over the where the stone comes in. Yeah, it, it's a really slick design. And I can't remember... I can't remember if it actually washes up everything off of it first before it blows it up. Or actually all of that might shift off. Be, you know, I have to go back and look at it. But, all right, so I need redstone, and I need... Okay, I've, I've got logs, so that's fine. Uh, I'll grab some iron. Okay. Pistons! Yeah, well, because all of the moss... All, well, all of the stone, right? It's a cobblestone... Gen or it's a stone generator in front of pistons. So it generates stone, and the pistons just push it forward... And when there's enough underneath the moss block that sits on the level above it, it bone meals it. All of that stone turns to moss and then it gets shifted forward out into uh, TNT. So I think they probably have something to wash all that stuff off or to collect it some way too. Um, but yeah, the, the design, it's actually a really simple design. It just takes a little bit of building up to get all of the, uh, to get everything in the right place. You know, it's, it's one of those designs, it's big and clunky just because there's a lot, there's a lot of moving parts, but none of the moving parts are particularly complicated. You know, it's, I like, you know, I love watching Razeworks videos, which if you have a jump on YouTube and, uh, check out Ray's works because he does some amazingly awesome things but some of it is so complicated it's like yeah i'm not doing that <laughs> no that this is not a thing that i am going to do yeah because he designed some amazing farms but i know me and i am not going to spend all that time being that precise with stuff Okay, so I don't have. I don't have blackstone. I should go get some blackstone. 
Oh yeah. Well, I, yeah, and I've I've built his Wither Skeleton farm, at least version one of his farm, which works for me since I was the only one using it. You pig, you get to die. I'm sorry, you have forfeited life because you were just being pushy. Okay, so let's see now. I guess I don't really need that uh, raw pork chop. Or the eggs, for that matter. All right, well, they get shoved in a box. Just like any good junk drawer. Okay, I am in need of blackstone. That's it. And some polished blackstone as well. I'll go and just polish all of this up, because I need it for the rest of the build anyway. Perfect. And I, that might not be enough, but we'll go with it for now. Enough pistons. Okay. Well, let's grab a quick... Oops. That is not the bed. No. See that? That's a crafting table. That's a bed. Crafting table. Bed. Crafting table. Bed. One of them I can sleep in. <laughs> yeah. Version 2 of Rayworks... Uh, or Rayworks... Uh, uh, Wither Skelly Farm gets really crazy because then it's got some weird hopper alignment and automatic destruction of XP balls and all sorts of other weird stuff, which is really cool, but that's just that's just more trouble than I want to get into. Okay, so that's going to come out. All right. Yeah, see, it's just going to slide in here like this. Right, so there's, so there's that. So I need pistons. Yeah, yeah. His initial design is really, really simple, which is cool. Um, it's just, oops, I forgot redstone. Redstone. It's hard to build circuits without redstone. And I am. Uh, okay, I got it. We're fine. Fine. Grab a couple more blocks of redstone too. Since I'll probably need to come back and get some more other things. But oh man. Paving the nether is such a pain. I'm lucky. It's, it's bad and as much as I complain about the nether that I've got in this world. You know what? I'm gonna go shut off the farm here. As much as uh, Anyway, as much as I complain about the my nether because I my portal opened up above a lava lake and a bunch of other nonsense, the fortress I found actually is nice because it ends up over a lava pool in a soul sand valley. So that helps a lot with the the spawning apparently and all that fun stuff. So so that's gonna help, but yeah. Paving the nether is going to be such a pain in the neck. All right, here we go. Go ahead and turn that off. Yeah, one, at some point, I'll, I'm going to figure out how to connect this circuit to something up here at my XP farm. So I can just turn this one off and the other, I'm going to build another one that's Enderman height over in that corner so I can get a few ender pearls just while I'm with the rest of my drops. You made it. The number of times I've splattered my remains all over the countryside coming off that farm um, is almost comical. Okay. All right, we got it. So finally, finally, I can finish putting this in place. So that goes there. All right, cool. Okay, and then I can take this out, put that in. Cool. And then I'll put the dirt back. Okay, yeah. Oh no, no, I had to stop playing hardcore. <laughs> I was, I was getting frustrated. I mean, I, I like some of the challenge of hardcore. It was a really nice change of pace, but it got to a point I was really tired of restarting worlds. 
All right, suckers, there. Boom, all right. Ah, dinner's ready, nice. Look, it's delicious and, and yummy at the same time. I'm not too concerned about nutritious. <laughs> Make it yummy. And this explains why I've uh, put on some extra weight here the last uh, couple of months. All right, cool, that's working. I do have everything in place that I need here, right? Yeah, I've got all of the iron fence. Cool. All right. Oh, this is going to be so nice. So I've got these guys in. I think these are going to be librarians, at least to start with. Uh, though I'm not sure how many of the librarians I actually need. There are a couple of enchantments that I need that I don't have. Uh, efficiency 5, for example. I don't have one of those. Okay, test it. Make sure it works. I've got Mending. I've got um, a couple of others, but I don't have Fortune. I don't have Efficiency 5. Um, I don't think I even have Silk Touch, now that I think about it. Though I do have Frostwalker. That's going to be an interesting thing, too, when I get to it. Is I want to build an ice farm. Because if I'm going to build a storage system, I'd like to have some ice for the uh, for the item stream, right? Okay. But I don't have ice nearby. Right? This is not a... I did not end up in a place where there's like... Ice. <laughs> it's it's warm and beautiful in my world. I'm here in a desert in a savanna. Or not a savanna, a uh, plains. You know? So the weather is beautiful. But every once in a while, I would kind of like to have something. Okay. All right. I don't know if I actually picked up that block or not. Looks like it. Well, whether I did or not, doesn't matter. I'm okay. <sighs> My self-worth is not determined by whether or not I picked up blocks or not. Okay, so we'll just uh, dig all this stuff out. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, and because I haven't plugged it enough, and I really should, if you use the command exclamation point merch in chat, that'll take you to my new merch store, which is awesome and amazing. Uh, but also, it will, it will give you an, an offer code for 5% off. There it is. Sprite's got it. And uh, now is an excellent time. Oops, that's not right. Not just for me, if, if you know anyone who is selling on Teespring, now is the time to buy because Teespring is raising their prices at the end of the month. So now is really, really the time to get through. Oh yeah, oh yeah, old guy 44. It's, this is partly to celebrate my birthday. I turned 44 last week and so we'll, uh, so that's the offer code. However, Maybe I shouldn't tell anybody this, but there is a super secret offer code for subscribers in the Discord. Which, uh, you know, that's... It's I, it's so secret that I pinned it to the uh, subscribers channel in the Discord so that it was easy to find. That's how secret it is. So, so yeah. So subscribe on Twitch or subscribe on Patreon because I love Patreon subs. Y'all are awesome and amazing. And be, if you do so, go the Patreon route, be sure you link your Patreon to Discord so it all picks it up. Of course, same with Twitch. Just link your Twitch to the Discord as well. And uh, yeah, you too can get the super secret offer code for an even bigger discount. All right. And, you know, if t-shirts aren't your jam, there are hoodies, there are stickers, there's music for gaming water bottles. Ooh, ah. So, yeah. Hmm. But, 
but but the ah cheese monkeys lo merch, right? This stuff, the ah cheese monkey shirt is only available for a limited time. So it, it also goes away at the end of August. So so yeah. All right. Was that enough self promotion? Did I uh, did I do that right? I don't know. I'm still new at this. All right. Boom. Perfect. I'm just going to continually throw the dirt down there. It's fine. Okay. You know, it's it's fun when you end up in a place where it's not all the same material. Then it's a real pain to switch out stuff. I suppose if I were really smart, I'd put my shovel in my hot bar or in my offhand so I could switch to it quickly and then not use it when I dig out dirt like that. Perfect. Okay. Right, so that I could just do that, right, and then just do this. See, that would be the, the right choice, um, but I have problems with doing things right the first time I don't see just like that that switch nah that, that lever was not the right thing to put there and then I could have used my shovel to dig that up see this is this is why I'm not a pro minecrafter oh also because uh, I'm a coward who likes to sleep at night okay so <sighs> Make some making progress. This is the the most tedious part is the getting the levers all the way around and stuff. So, hi. Yeah. You guys up late last night? Yeah. No. Just, midnight. Just midnight. midnight. Okay. I looked over and it was kind of, eh, you know. <laughs> Yeah, Friday is the one night that my kids have no bedtime. So, you know, so they can stay up as late as they want. And they often do. And sometimes they even go to bed before the next day. But, yeah. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get, get down here. Get the... All of this piston stuff in place. Now I don't know. This this is a this trading hall is adapted from a logical geek, logical geek boy design. Um, I Raiseworks. I love Raiseworks because he's got these really amazing designs that can do all sorts of crazy everything. Right. Um, logical geek boys designs will often do the same thing, but sometimes not as efficient and that type of thing. But his tutorials are so easy to follow. You uh, did a thing. Awesome. Awesome. Well, things are, are super and awesome. All right. So I hope you uh, enjoy your thing. Okay. There we go. That goes there. Sweet. Yeah, if, and uh, if you do do fun things and order exciting stuff, post a picture in the Discord. I'll see if I can throw it up on uh, on Twitter or something. If if that's uh, okay, Cause, you know, let the world see how awesome the merch is. Cause I am really excited. Like this T-shirt is is really comfy and. I'm so excited with how it turned out and the water bottle. Oops. The water bottle is nice. Um, actually, the water bottle is great. Uh, I wanted one of the tumblers, actually, but they were out of stock and I wanted to be sure I had something that got here before my birthday. So, uh, yeah, so I had to wait on that one. But, okay. Perfect. Oh! Also, just random things as I'm thinking about them. 
Um, as you'll see some at some point later in the stream, because I will inevitably need a bathroom break, I've added um, a thing on my BRB screen that plays back uh, clips that get like I, cause I, I post a bunch of clips on TikTok and YouTube shorts and that type of thing, right? Well, I'm showing a couple of them on the BRB screen when I have to, you know, like I said, go to the bathroom or something. So if you have clips, anything that's that I've posted to TikTok or over on the YouTube channel, um, let me know. Things that you really like. So I'll, I'll get them... Uh, I'll get them added to that the rotation. Because right now I've got, I don't know, five or six, seven maybe. And there, it, there is the possibility because it plays them randomly. Yep, that's what I wanted them for. Yeah, because it plays them randomly, there is the possibility of repeats. And I just don't... Uh, if I had the more of those clips I have, the less chance there is for repeats. Um, and I've got a few from some of the more recent streams. I've got one I know I want to put in there. I just haven't gone to find it yet. It was from the last hardcore game where uh, the one baby zombie kills me and ends my hardcore game. That that uh, baby zombie that. I was, I told it, it couldn't kill me, and it disagreed with me, and it had to prove itself right, and ended my hardcore game, so, that one's definitely going in there, so, yeah, yeah, but I was thinking, because I don't, because I don't do music on the stream, right, um, ah, okay, Discord app channels, um, oh yeah, that's the, there we go. This, I got it. Okay. Yep. I'm wrong. That's the one. Cool. So yeah, that's the, and that one is, I, I, the only reason I didn't have it on there yet is I forgot what it was called. <laughs> so I had to, uh, I hadn't, I hadn't found it yet. Yep, that one is definitely going in there. And I'm out of... Okay, so it's out of levers, but fortunately levers are quick and easy to craft. So, yeah. All sorts of fun stuff. All right. So let's go ahead and just keep this going. Because if, if I can get... Um, I'll get this side finished and then I'll go around. I want to work on the other, um, work on the redstone so I can get villagers meandering that way. Cause I know this is the most exciting thing ever. Oh, and there's the nether death. Okay. Why do I feel like I screwed this up? Because I did. That's why. Ah, because I put in a second piston. Well, that's just not right. Yep, so I've got a couple. I, the, uh, I definitely have some of the clips of, of getting egged on to, to keep adding things to the uh, Creeper Pino. Uh, yeah, and a few other things, so. Yeah. As I said, eventually I'm going to have to go to the bathroom and that will totally, uh, <laughs> you'll totally see some of those. Ah, yep. <laughs> oh, you totally didn't just share those recently. Eh, that's, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I think I've got that one in, uh, And let's see. Oh, and I and I, because I have the uh, fully edited clip going up too, so it has the uh, replay mod view of of that of the uh, that wither skeleton chasing me all over the map. 
as I panic and try to survive with my instant health potion. And I'm out of redstone. Great. I need two. Two more redstone dust. Ah. Okay. Fine. I could have counted and known how many I was going to need exactly. So. Ah. Yes. Yep, I've got that one. Yeah, it's up on at youtube.com slash music free gaming. That would be hang on. I can actually do a thing here. That one. That I post all of the clips there. I also post them to TikTok, but um, so if you prefer to watch them in one place or another. But uh, yeah, that one's got all of the, the edited clips as well, so. Or at least a, a fair number of them. Once YouTube uh, started doing shorts and stuff. All right. Uh, yep, I understand that. There have been a couple of times. It's like, oh, let me just jump in. I want to check my analytics on the TikTok and all that fun stuff. And, and then suddenly, an hour later, as I've watched another cat video. Yep. So I tend to not get on TikTok as often. <laughs> All right, cool. So we got that going. All right, so I need to get trap doors here because I want this all to be ready for villagers. Even if it's not fully, fully built, at least if I can get the... Uh, first part of it done this would be great but yeah tiktok i have a it's it sucks me in too easily plus i i've had an issue with tiktok that it doesn't allow me to um delete comments at least that i've been able to discover so occasionally i'll run into comments on one of my videos it's like yeah this isn't ideal yeah Yep, that's it. And TikTok, that's that's why it works, because the uh, you have that I can't stop scrolling issue. It's like oh well, and it ticks me off, and I'm gonna talk about it, darn it, because it's gonna tick and talk. Uh, when you go to exit the app, it says it first it brings you up an, another video before you. Uh, back out again it's like are you sure you want to leave look at this other cool video yeah that's so i don't get on tiktok often but but i'm posting all of those things over to youtube so you can follow me over on the youtubes and not get into that annoying scroll issue all right i need the logs I need the acacia logs. Acacia log. Start it. Two, zero, two, one. Oh, eight. Oh, 12. Oh, seven. Sorry, I can't do dates. Because I'm married. All right, so. Wow, I do not have a lot of acacia logs. Okay. Oh, I guess that's a thing that's going to have to happen soon. Okay, so let's see what uh, other fun and exciting things we got going on here. So this is going to go this way. Well, point. You, you help mod for a 24-7 cat rescue channel. Oh, nice. Oh. All right. I'm definitely going to have to go get the these are going to go here. All right. Yep, and cats are so cute. Man. Animals are cute. That's just... I was watching a video. My wife sees a number of these things from, from Facebook. And this adorable video. This poor, poor little dog... It looks like it was some form of uh, 
I don't know. I can't, I can't even tell breeds. But it's this cute little just dog-shaped dog. Okay. It had a little bit of a shepherd-type snout. You know, that sort of pointier snout. But this friendly-looking dog. And the poor thing was just heartbroken. Uh, because apparently it had just had puppies. Uh, but it, I guess the dog was a stray. It had just had puppies, but they were all premature. And so none of the puppies survived. And this poor, poor dog was just searching for its puppies. They said they gave it a mattress, like a toddler bed type mattress to lay on. It tore apart the mattress trying to find the puppies. It was so sad. But they'd also, in the shelter, had a cat that had given birth to kittens. But the, the mother cat didn't survive. So they had a bunch of these motherless kittens. And so they put the, those kittens in with the dog. And the dog was thrilled. And the kittens were thrilled. And it was such a amazing, touching, heartwarming story that it's like, oh, there are good things on social media sometimes. I got the feels. And I did not sign up for that feels trip. Okay? It, it did not... It was not a thing. But it was still cute. Okay. So, this should get me started anyway. Yeah. That should be enough to uh, at least finish that one row. Okay. So I can get the trap doors in, and that'll keep the villagers in. Has like two feeds going 24-7. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. I can understand that. It's like, okay, let's... Yeah, make sure that... Uh... So we want everyone to know what happens in these rescues. Yep, I understand that. My wife watches a, a stream, well, yeah, a couple of 24-7 streams, but these are the ones from um, Iceland, about that volcano that's been erupting for the last couple of months. And yeah, I can... Yeah, I, the mods there are sometimes kept yeah, surprisingly busy for a volcano stream. So we get those in. Yeah, but I'll get sucked in on cat videos and other stuff. So it's like, yeah, we're going to stay off TikTok for a while. All right, so this is this is all set up, at least on that, on this set. So, great. All right, so the next thing I need is glass so I can build the... Uh, the villager channel here. Now, I was putting glass on both sides. I'm not actually sure I need the glass on the outside. I want it on the inside. But as I'm looking at this, so I'm not entirely sure I, I need it there on the outside. As, as I've said many times, I don't plan out these builds. I like to freehand it and stuff, but that does lead to complications later. So, yeah. Alright, so let's see. What else do I have going on? Um, glass. Yes. Uh, this box. Cool. Alright, and I've got some clear... Do I have other clear glass? I don't... I do have... Oh, that's tinted glass. Okay. Don't want to use that. Let's rescue it. Okay, lots of lots of forestry and feral cats. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I can I can see how they would be a problem too. And you don't want to have to put them down. I understand that. We've I have a, live in a oops. Okay. Yep, I definitely need that. And then the die. Black. 
not glass panes, black blocks. There we go. I was going to say blast glocks, and I don't know what a blast glock is, but I'm sure it wouldn't be any safer than a regular glock, so. As much as I like firearms, man, I, ugh, glocks are not the way to go. But that's just my personal opinion. Yeah, you do your own thing. All right. Also not a topic totally appropriate for this channel, so. All right, so that's going to be drop zone. This is drop zone. Okay. So that goes this way. All right. So now, I guess I will... Uh, Lighting this is going to be its own special breed of fun, but I haven't figured that out yet either. Okay. So what's cool, I'm going to have this here, right? This glass window. So you'll actually still get to see the mobs drop from the mob farm. I'm going to do that over there as well, I think. Oops. Okay, let's try hitting the zoom button over there. There we go. Okay. So... Go ahead and get this, all this glass in place. Yep, see what'll happen is the villagers, they'll walk along this row right here, and any place it's open, or the first place it's open, they'll just drop right in and everything will be lovely. They'll take that job and go on with their lives until I set them on fire because they're not selling me the thing I want or... Um, I feed them to a zombie because they are selling me something I want and they're just not selling it to me cheap enough. So. Okay. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and get all this stuff in. It's gonna be fabulous. Alright. Yeah, I think this is going to go this way, too. All right. Now, do I have not enough glass? All right. Fine. Some of this desert is going to die. And it's it's going to die in an explosion. It's, you know, I'm sure it'll enjoy it. You know. I, hmm. I was just wondering, if I had glow lichen and I put glow lichen on these blocks that aren't being pushed around by the piston would the villagers walk over it if they've got headroom they might I was just wondering if it would mess up their pathfinding I might have to play with that a little bit because I think because I do need light through here and the glow lichen doesn't put off a lot of light but having the glow like in there would give it a, a little bit of I don't know, dramatic mood lighting. Because dramatic mood lighting is totally the thing you need when you are locking villagers in tiny boxes for the rest of their uh, their lives. So. Alright, I'm going to need a lot more sand. Okay. And that's fine. That's fine. I can I can do that. However, before I do, I want to slide right down into my uh, mob farm here. It's off now, fortunately, so I don't have to worry about a uh, bunch of other stuff coming in there. All right. Yeah, I had a couple of my villagers turn, and I didn't want them to because I accidentally got a... I think I had a zombie fall out of the mob farm or maybe end up wandering in somehow. And it ate a couple of my villagers. I actually had some die, which is weird because in hard mode, they shouldn't die. They should just become villager or become a zombie, but I don't know. That fall is so long, I could eat uh, an entire steak before hitting the bottom. All right. Cool. So I've got myself a nice handy little uh, gunpowder. Yes, it do. 
Yes, it do. Gunpowder. All right. So there's a little bit of sand. I don't have nearly enough, but what I do have is a crafting table. Which I've got one here, but I'm going to... Let's see. I've got six. I may blow up more of this desert here in a minute, but... Grab my horse. All right. Let us meander. Yeah, I've, and I found a problem with my my squid farm here. I need to line the walls with pumpkins. Because if I don't, it's dark enough in various parts along the side of the this pool that I'll actually get drowned spawning in there and they'll kill my axolotls. Which is which is sad because axolotls are cute. Such nice little murder lizards, you know. All right, do I have a fence post over here somewhere? I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. Apparently I didn't. All right, well. I guess we'll just have to uh, trust that he won't wander this way. Right? Sure. Okay. All right, I guess I'll go get a fence post and a uh, flint and steel so that I can actually set off this TNT. You know. It turns out it's just placing the TNT doesn't make it explode oh i've got a lever never mind we'll do it that way we've already seen how good i am at using le levers and tnt this morning so okay all right so i'm not sure i want to blow that cave up but i could all right we're about to get some good cactusy goodness going on here too so All right, because I was stupid, didn't bring a flint and steel. Time to run. Time to run, time to run. All right. There we go. There's some, there's some sand. Yes, I'm, from what I've been told, it is faster in some ways more efficient to just blow all the sand up. See, look at that. I got stacks upon stacks of TNT rather than just come out here with a shovel. Now, you do have to use a little bit of sand. So if you don't, if you want it to be a completely lossless process, that's not it. But it's really fast, so. So I'm just gonna blow up the desert. This desert is going to look like a war zone by the time I'm done with it. And then maybe I'll end up building something over here. I don't know. We shall find out. Okay, so. Let's uh, put the horse away. And now I can craft up a lot more glass. All right, where's my... There it is. There's the lead. Okay. Stay. All right. So I need... Oh, and I look at all the sand I happen to have in a box that if I had been paying attention to, I would have gotten. All right. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Speaking of fine, I should actually put my gold boots away. <laughs> Those are my, I'm wandering through the nether boots. You know, you got to have boots for every occasion, right? You've got your, I'm wandering through the nether boots. You got your, I am going to go slay lots of mobs boots. You know, you got your, I am building up really high and don't want to kill myself falling off of this build boots, right? Yeah, you got to have boots for all occasions. All right. So, let's see now. All right, so I need glass, which I do not have. I mean, I've got five glass, but that's not nearly enough. So, 
put those boots on. That would be a plus. This is why I need a super smelter. And I just have not... Not gotten around to building it yet. On the plus side, I do have uh, a little bit of copper now. So I'll be looking at how to integrate copper into builds here in a little bit. But don't know how yet. I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with copper. Some of it may just be as simple as building, as using lightning rods because they just look cool. Oh. Okay. Guess that one's done. But so, you know, it's something. I don't know. I'll figure something out. But in the meantime, that's going to go. So let's meander over this way. That's. I don't know. I've been thinking about grabbing a bow because I haven't been wandering around with one for a while. And it's like, yeah, maybe I should grab my bow. Oh, I'm, well, this is fine. This is fine. I'll go around the other side. I just need to uh, come around here and make sure my... All right, I, I want to start getting the uh, redstone in place for this villager transfer thing while I'm you know, waiting for that glass to cook. So the idea here is this is, this is the walkway continued. Right. So the villagers are going to meander through here. Now, I suppose I mean, I'm going to have to fill this somehow. But I want to drop the villager off, say, on this block. That actually makes a little bit of sense. So I can drop the villager off on that block. So they can go either this way or this way, depending on how I flip a switch. <sighs> okay, and that's going to be its own special breed of interesting, too. So, cool. All right, so let's go get some rail, get some sticky pistons, see if I can, and some redstone, see if I can figure this thing out. Which, again, knowing me and redstone, not... Uh, this is not going to be a simple process. Okay, so I have three levers. That'll be enough of those. Grab some redstone. Maybe grab a little bit more redstone. I don't know why I'm collecting those seeds, but, you know, it seems like a thing to do. I need to get my... Uh, they don't get cheaper. See, you know, every once in a while there's some trades that I just don't like. Because you can buy redstone from clerics. But it's always one emerald. You can't make it cheaper. All right. So that's cooking away. Um, sticky pistons. I need sticky pistons. Okay. Grab a couple of those. Do I have some bricks? I do. I do. I'm going to use the bricks for the the doors here. Also, I've got some amethysts. So I was thinking about the tower design here. Right? Because I am going to bring a tower that's going to wrap this uh, mob farm here and the one on this side. And it's, and it's going to be blackstone. It's going to be deep slate. It's going to be all that, right? Well, I was thinking what might look cool as part of that is back in, you know, have some cutout sections that are uh, amethyst behind it, and then maybe some uh, some deep slate, pointed dip, deep slate growing together. I think that would be really cool. Rails. I need the rails. Okay, now here's here is a thing I'm trying to decide. And again, this would be one of those things that if I had actually planned this build out, it might might make a little bit more sense. But I 
don't I don't quite know how I want to get the uh, the minecart. Obviously, it's going to be on rails, but I don't know how to get the minecart around this. Okay, so I'm coming out of the, the villager breeder, slipping around here, up and over this drop-off point, which feeds the two... Uh, uh, it feeds these two dealy bobs, right? Right in here. These guys are separated, and I can't connect them to the rest of the feed because of the, the drop channels for the mob farms, right? So... Because of that, right, they've got their own dropper right here in the middle. So I'm gonna have the droppers on the corners, which will feed into wherever I need it to feed into. You know, the other three sides of the build, really. But I wasn't sure if I wanted to bring this minecart all the way down underground. Right, which would be which would be fine. Uh, there's definitely some some good reasoning for that because then I can build up the rest of this is here you know don't have to worry about it that type of thing but I don't know I don't know it's uh, it's definitely a thing I'm not entirely sure I know how I want to approach this alright in the meantime said my let my glass cook Man, I love the new Infinite Lava stuff, man. That is... That is sweet. Alright, so let's get... So the activator rail is going to go here. And then that's going to have to get powered. And then I need to run more rail around this way. So... Which kind of makes sense, I think. All right, so they're going to drop off there. Um, let's see, so at the very least, I'm going to need rail going this way. And I'm going to, if I block them off, let's see. <clears throat> okay, because I need them to drop off basically right at that corner. And then what I want to do is sticky piston here. And then sticky pistons here, pushing those. Okay, now I've got my sticky pistons in the wrong place, but it's all right. That should be fine. Um, all right, so that's going to be there. Underused button, the block picker. I Now that I've discovered it, I love it. Also, these are in the wrong place. Just, uh, you've got to, they're sticky pistons, so you've got to push them back to where they would be flat. So when you extend them, they do what they need to do. Okay, so that goes this way. I'm using a uh, mod pack from v Vanilla Tweaks, a little resource pack that shows the stickiness on the sides of the pistons here. Oh, you had to rebind your block picker? Oh, yes. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, there are a couple of keys. I may have to remap for various reasons just because they could be super useful. Like, I just... Today I was just using the... Um, the keep... Because I've mentioned I, I fly left-handed, so I use the numpad to move around, right? Eight is forward, five is back, right? All that stuff. I was using the plus button on the numpad as my uh, use button while I was setting up the the uh, TNT stuff to break the nether. Right, so that's been... So that's... Fun. Oh. This is in the wrong place. Yeah, because actually the villager needs to go... Here. No, honestly, if they get dropped off anywhere in this path, that's okay. So, all right. 
so they can go. Oops, now that's the wrong thing. So I may have to rebind some of that stuff. It's like, oh, I push to talk, for example, on on Discord might be useful. If I ever end up doing a collab with somebody, that could be really nice. No. Let's see. Nope, 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 I'm wrong. That's the path is there. Okay. All right, let's grab these levers. Because. All right, so is it. Does that do both? One of these does both, I thought. But maybe I just need to put a thing on them. All right, so that goes there. Yeah, okay, top one. Cool. All right, so I'm going to want to deal with that in some way. But run that run that down and around. I've got plenty of room because if I build the towers out on this side, the same as I'm going to have to build around over here, I'm going to have a lot of room to, uh, to function here. So the glass is going to go here and it's going to go here. <laughs> Yo, I wouldn't mind doing a collab with somebody. The my problem is twofold. One, I've not, I've, I did it once and it was a really, really bad experience. Uh, and that has more to do with not being familiar with it and just the not really communicating with the person I was collabing with at the time. Uh, but yeah, I really what I need to do is talk to somebody and actually end up collabing and having a good experience and then maybe i would do it more often okay i have drip leaf i've actually another vill uh wandering trader i did buy some drip leaf so i've got all of that stuff i can start growing and doing stuff with yeah so that's exciting too okay um all right so how do i want to do this I don't know. What I might have to do... Because I've got to get the... The villager is going to drop off... Say here. Now, I could just do a single piston. That would block their pathfinding. And then I can run rail under it if I need to. That might make... Might make this a little bit easier, uh, honestly. Alright, so if I... Drop them off here. Okay, let's take this out. Fall down, twist an ankle, you know, like you do. Okay, so let's take some rail. It's going to go there and there. Okay, and then this can go down. Right. Okay, so then this can go down this way. And kind of like that, right? At least that's the plan. But yeah, I'll allow a person to hang out in voice chat. That that might. Um, the other thing I'm really worried about is uh, being sure that it it stays family friendly, right? Because that's the other thing. You know, it's okay. I'm gonna collab with somebody there in voice chat or whatever, and then. They are have a little bit of a potty mouth, and that becomes a problem. And then I can't; it breaks my stream, and I've got to do a bunch of stuff like that. So, so yeah, I'm I'm super paranoid about it because I do want to be sure. I want the, this channel to be a good, family friendly resource for people, a, a nice place that you know everybody can drop in and say hi and all that stuff. I think I'm going to need glass here. Yep. And that's it. And, and so making sure, are they family friendly? Can we, are we okay with the way this is going? Or what the, the intentions are, all that stuff. Yep. And it's, so there's a, plus my own social anxiety. Do we really want to do this? <laughs> do I want to 
actually talk to somebody and uh, <laughs> so yeah so i'm open to it it's just i'm also deeply deeply afraid of it you know okay let's get that glass out of there actually all right cool so now i've got some black glass where did i put the die there it is sweet perfecto <sighs> okay yeah so you know see i i would love to do like a i would love to do a collab type thing like with mandolin because i know she's she's solid family friendly and stuff that way i'm gonna pour water down my chin that's a thing uh you know there are, i've got a number of streamers that i follow that are I've had some great family-friendly streamers uh, pinned to the Minecraft channel in the Discord. So if you're looking for other people to watch, you know. Um, and so I would... There are a number of them I would uh, love to collab in, too. Um, and yeah, I, doing a voice chat uh, might help. So, I don't know. That's something we we'll, may have to... Uh, play with and actually not to be too uh, mercenary about it I suppose what I could do is I could light up voice chat for uh, oops, that's not how I wanted to do that okay I'm gonna just fall through there yeah um, yeah I could and I could actually light that up for VIPs and and subs, right? Because those are the people that uh, know the channel the most. They're they're the most uh, y'all are, are super awesome and know how I how I do things. And so having you uh, all be able to just hop in and do voice chat and stuff that would be that might work. Okay, so. Other than the fact that this will suffocate the villagers um, because they're coming under the piston, that's just fine. All right, so let's uh, fix this. All right, so, you know, because I really don't want my villagers to suffocate. Despite my, uh, yeah, that's true. Subs could be a little risky. So, yeah, it, but that's a, that's an idea. That is a really interesting idea. I'm going to have to think about that and think about how I might want to um, try that and just play with it and see how that's going to go. But that is a really interesting idea. All right. So let's close up these pistons for a minute. They get dropped off in the wrong spot, which is great. <sighs> okay, because I actually want them to be dropped off. Hmm. See, this might work. Because if I run the glass here, block this off like that. No, because they have... Uh, goodness gracious. All right, this is not... Cheese monkeys, man. All right. All right, all right, all right. So... Okay, so basically... Yeah, now... Basically, I want to drop them there. Okay, because that'll spit them right out into this spot right there that'll be good okay all right so now okay right so this can come up that way the villager gets ejected into here one side or the other could be open say this side will be open and then they can wander down that way and find their job and then because they won't be able to walk this way. 
You know, you're about to get yourself locked in a pod for the rest of your life, dude. Just, just saying. Okay. And I'm, I'm sure that uh, I would totally be into it, but. All right. Okay, so this would then pop up this way. Run some glass back here just to keep him alive as he wanders through, but. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I can run glass like that. Okay, just pop up here for a minute. Yeah, cool. So they'll drop off even with this is open or when it's, yeah, when, it, when this site is closed, the villager won't be able to go that way. I can close this off too, just to be sure that they know you are not allowed here. This is not a place for you. This is a, this is a place where you do not belong, right? All right, so I could just run like that. Sure. Okay, and then that'll open and they'll be able to walk this way. All right, that's, that's definitely a thing. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, I'll have to fall down here. All right. <laughs> Silliness. Huh. So I've got, I've got, I think I've got this working, or at least the uh, general idea working. And I, I even have some more gold for my adventures in the nether, getting the, the ender pearls and stuff that I needed the other day, or this morning. So my adventures were yesterday and the, uh, yeah, the stuff, the using of those adventures were later, but... Ooh, I think this will work. I think I'm going to just fall in these over and over again. I, I can see it. I can see it because I know me. And I am a clumsy, clumsy person. Oh, you know, this uh, getting this green screen frame put together is going to be a, an exercise in creative destruction, I'll tell you. All right, now, hey, just for my own sanity, maybe I should not be inside of that. All right, how's the light levels? In Oops. Well, I'll find out the light levels there in a minute. All right, so light levels. Are they okay in there? Ooh, I've got a dark spot in there. That's not good. All right, but otherwise, things are looking pretty okay. All right, so let's meander. Whoa, all right, good enough. I just want to light this up so I don't have something. Something wicked crawling along the insides of this. That would be awkward. Also, my lack of planning means I'm going to have to do some interesting things with this entrance. I thought I saw somebody wandering around over here. Maybe it was... Oh, it's a pig. Okay. All right, pig. I thought you were a person. And now I've insulted him and he's wandering off. Well, fine. Usually it's the other way around. People get insulted by being called pigs. But having a pig get insulted because I called it a human or a villager. I guess I would be insulted if I were called a villager too. So, you know... I, I, I understand the pig. We we have this this understanding now. Okay, so this will go in this way. Drop that off. Now I could. All right. So I what I could do then is then bring this down. Am I out of torches? I'm out of torches. Great. So dolphins are having fun. You know, it's a it's a great time. All right. So what I could do then is bring this track around this way. 
and then I can run it down, you know, underground and stuff. Because I, I think I'm going to end up, I could end up tearing out part of this hill. Though, honestly, I could leave it. That would actually be okay, too. Um, smacking the mic, less okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So... All right, so let's go ahead and slap some blocks down here. Like that. I guess I have to go down one more. Great. Yeah, that, yeah, I, I apologize for that. I had no intention of uh, causing pain and sufferings to people's ear holes, but this is the problem when I have the mic down. A lot of people, they put the mic like up here, you know? I, I have it down down here, and I just... The problem with that is now it's sort of in the way. If I'm not careful, I smack it. Okay. So I need to go make some more powered rails. And uh, run some track from over here and around that way. But I think this is going to work. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. So I, I sort of apologize. <laughs> I it was there's no intention of smacking you around uh, vicariously through the microphone. No, that was not at all the plan. <sighs> all right. All right, so let's see now. What other fun and exciting? So, rails. That's fun and exciting. I need... Okay, so that's all... Oh, that's sandstone. Do I want to cook up some more glass? Let's go ahead and just use the rest of that. Cook up the rest of that sand. Okay. All right, now... Let's see. So I need sticks. Which means I need wood. <laughs> okay. I, I... You know, I would really love to be able to turn um, slabs into sticks. They're practically sticks as it is, right? All right. All right, so I'm going to need not that. Um, I've got gold, redstone, sticks. Okay. Rail. Why can I not? Oh, heh. Why can't I make it? Well, it's because I was not on the thing. And the crap. Let's try it this way. How? Huh. Okay, so I know if I go this way and then this way with some redstone and some sticks, right? I don't know why that's not showing up in my uh, crafting grid, but... Okay, how much of this do I want to craft? I'm going to need... Uh, I'll, I'll do one more. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, cool. Because I am going to need to set up this, this set up elsewhere, and I am going to need to do a few other things. Let's let's craft up some more regular rail as well. Um, yeah, that's fine. I have plenty. They don't have to go like at lightning speed, but okay. Fortunately. I think I hit the mute button in time. If not, I'm sorry for sneezing on your ears. And uh, fortunately, allergies are... At least I don't think allergies are contagious. I hope they're not. All right. If they're con contagious over the internet, uh, I've actually just made a new breakthrough in uh, science, and that's just weird. All right, so... I guess I have to decide this now. Do I want 
the villagers to be visible as they come running across here. Running across here and around into there. I think... Let's see. So this is all going to be hoppers. Actually, down a level. The hoppers are going to be at this level. I should get some hoppers. I don't know. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So this is this is the kill zone. But it might not be contagious. Yeah, yeah, I was suffering through them all year. Yep. Oh man. Alright, so gotta give the hoppers room. I'm gonna put the chests and stuff over on that side, so as long as I get down underneath this, it should be fine. So I think what I want to do is I could squiggle around a little bit and then duck down here, hug this wall, right? Because then I'll, I'll squiggle around, hug the wall over, well, I don't say hug it, but come under it just around this way. Okay, and this should be fine. So let's go ahead. Gonna grab this block for a minute, and I'm just going to uh, angle that down like that. Okay, and this will come down a, at least two blocks, right? Because the villagers will need to be completely submerged. That's the wrong word, but submerged seems like a a word that you know is just drastically wrong. But I'm gonna go with it. They're not going to be underwater. So, okay. So, they'll be down here. Coming through this way. Right, just like this. And I can drop in some light that way. Okay. Cool. Cool. So, then I can power those rails and everything will be lovely. All right. Nice. So if I do that here on the other side, yeah, this should work out okay. So I'm going to, do I have something useless? No, but I've got uh, some cobblestone, so that'll work. I'm just gonna put this cobblestone here, partly so that I can see it and stuff. All right, so this is gonna come down this way. All right. Now I think I need to go down one more, but we'll we'll start with that. All right. So where's my regular rail? This is downhill, so I don't have to worry about about it being powered. Oops. I do need to worry about it going down. You know, and that's that's a thing. You know. Okay. So that's gonna go that way. That's gonna go that way. Got top stuff happening there. I'm going to go ahead and just put in some blackstone like this. Oh, it's going to be so nice when I get my gold farm set up and then the the uh, trading farm. Uh, oh, do I have mending on this shovel? I don't. Okay, I've got enough XP, though. I can put mending on it. All right. Cool. Because that's going to be an issue. I don't want my shovel to, to cease to exist. That would be awkward and unfortunate. So. Okay, cool. I'm just going to drop another thing here. Now, actually, what could be really cool, as I dig through this, for example, I think coming in this way a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to have to go in just a touch, but I think, let's let's see how far in. Oh, not far at all fact right through that wall cool so right through this wall and now i'm into my underground area here so that's cool nice so what i could do is i could actually watch if i build this correctly and i should maybe throw a couple of powered rails in here just for uh just for ease of function 
come this way, and now we're going that way, right? Ooh, right, so this is here. I'm going to have to go down a little further even just to uh, to be sure I get under the hoppers. So actually, let me go grab a couple of hoppers. So I've got them in here so I know where they go when I plan that out. That mob farm is something I will probably not build on camera. You know, it's... I like doing stuff on camera, but... Some of those things, I already built a mob farm on camera, so fell off it enough times. That, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Is the comedy gone now? Okay, so hoppers are going to come in here. Right, so there's going to be a hopper there. And I'll just put one here just so I know where they're going. Cool. Cool. All right, so that's how that's gonna go. Um, obviously, this will all be this will be a five by five hopper grid. Uh, so the rail's gonna have to get below this, which means I have to go down one more block. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Well, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go take a quick bathroom break, refill my water, and uh, I will be back here in just a moment. <laughs> No, I, I, I don't need to put a bandana around its neck. I don't. I don't. I'm going to now, but I don't need to do it. What are you doing to me, people? What is wrong with you? This was supposed to be a simple creeper statue. And now... It, it, it's, 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 I'm losing my mind. <laughs> All right. Today on Solving Problems, we ignore them. That That is how our problem will be solved today. Today is the ignore the problem and uh, hope that it just gets better. And I got to wondering if a goat were to ram a llama into a bell, would that be a ram -a llama ding dong <laughs> <laughs> Success! <laughs> I have successfully ram -a llama ding dong Okay, I am back. Oh, and uh, yeah, hopefully those those clips were fun and exciting and not too repetitive. <laughs> but yeah, so that's, I mentioned it earlier, that's the uh, plan with those. So if you've got, if you know of any of those, yep, so you got three clips. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a way yet of automating and saying, I need two minutes of clips. And getting that. So. So it's like. Oh if I'm gone a little bit longer. It'll throw in a fourth one or something. I don't have. I don't have that yet. Oh, I'm also. Just about. Uh, to get eaten by something. Ah, so yeah. That's, I thought it was just a fun thing. What I, the other thing I was going to do and didn't was fire off the uh, the ads so that I can... Not that I... The amount of ad revenue I get is almost trivial, but... But it does stop the pre-roll ads for people coming in later, so... You know, that's kind of nice. Alright. But yeah, since I don't play music on the stream, I thought... There should be a little something other than silence here for those uh, for those couple of minutes when I'm, you know, taking advantage of the fact that I have indoor plumbing. 
Okay, so this is going to go this way. Let's make sure this is the right direction here. Yep. All right, so this will go this way now. Okay. Cool. Take that out. Just because I've seen seen things in wine carts, they come around a corner like this, they'll occasionally clip it and take damage. And I'd rather not have my villagers take damage because of their uh, their little minecart ride here. So, yep. And of course, there's the catch that some of the clips are longer than others. So, it's, it's a thing. Okay. Alright, so this... Am I full of... I am full of something, that's for sure. Cool. All right, well, I guess I'll drop the cobblestone. All right, now, somewhere here. I was going to say, I, I know there's a, let's see, how far do I have to go? Okay. Because I know I dug underground there a little bit for that rail on this side, so... Slide right on over and pick all this stuff up. Okay. I'm looking forward to the day when I can get a, a beacon in place. That'll be nice. All right. So we'll get this stuff in. All right. Now I need to power that rail, but for the moment, we're uh, okay. All right. Nice. Did I... How far am I into that wall? Okay, about four or five blocks. Cool. Cool. So that's a... Oh, that'll be fun. So what I might do is clear out part of that wall and just have... Right, because this is the... This will be sort of the inside of this base. Yeah, like I said I'm going to be putting storage and stuff in here. But I could actually put glass in so I could see the villagers as they go flying by, perhaps. Not that I'll be using it that often, but, you know, still a nice thing to, to maybe have and play with. Okay, so let's drop off the stone. I actually can drop off the glass for now, so I don't need it right, right this second. I do need... Well, I left the cobblestone down there, so I'll go get it. Because I'm going to need a couple more levers and stuff just to to power that redstone. Or, you know, the powered rails, that is. And, you know, a little diorite. Because diorite's cool. Alright, so let's see. I need a couple of levers. And where do I want to put these? So I think I'll start. Let's just uh, grab the silk touch or the silk touch, the fortune pick here for the coal. Awesome. Okay, cool. Now that's lit. And I don't mean that in a party sense. Because, you know, I would totally be at the type of parties where people say lit unironically all right because yeah yeah you know it oh right because i put all of the stone back in the box sure why not and i'm out of tor oh i'm not out of torches ah okay torches Lovely torches. And I'm going to eat a little steak. All right, so here's where things are going to get interesting. It's just a matter of figuring out where I need to put uh, powered rails to keep these villagers still going. Probably, probably at, at the 
don't know, maybe in the middle and right about here, I think. Because here I'll need to turn, and that's fine. Now, I will be coming downhill, so I'll have a little bit of momentum from the... Uh, from that hill, which would be nice. But... Not sure how much, so... Put that granite in there. What else do I have? Oh, I can put die right there, too, I suppose. I may end up taking out some of that as I put this in and do some other things, but... Because I was kind of thinking what I would do was make part of this, as I said, make part of it visible so I can watch the villagers as they go by. All right, so let's say... All right, so I think as they, they come down that hill, it's not a huge hill, but it's a big enough hill that I think what I can do is throw a little bit of this over here okay yes stone is fine grab my powered rail right and just throw a little powered rail in there all right grab a lever okay boom all right now that might be enough I think it will be enough actually to uh, race these villagers over here. Okay, so that's on. Okay, and they're coming over here. Now that needs to be powered or not powered as the case may be. Uh, right now it needs to be powered, but I need to, I do need the option to turn it off. So that's, because if I leave it on, they will always eject over here and I, what I want to be able to do is turn that off so that I can then run the villagers that continue their rail ride right on over there. Yeah. Just right on over there to that corner where they can uh, eject. So that could be fun. Oh. I had another idea. This might actually be a better idea. Rather than running this rail up here and ejecting them that way, what if I eject them into a bubble column? Right, if I eject them into a bubble column, that'll just launch them up here. That might work too, though it may take them an extra... Take them a little extra time to get out of the the thing. It would certainly be a lot easier than doing this whole mess. All right, that's. I think that's a better idea, actually. All right. So let's uh, let's do that. Cool. How do I do that? Um, I don't mean that in a technical sense of, I don't know how to do a bubble column. It's more of a, how the heck am I going to run this around here and get them where they need to go and all that fun stuff, right? All right, so this is all going to come this way. I'll worry about that here in a little bit. Maybe I'll put a torch there. Okay, so the bubble column is going to have to come out right here. Okay. Cool. I can do that. So let's take... Well, I need to go get the soul sand. Okay, make sure this is in the right place. Okay, so yeah. So that's going to pop them up right... Right here. Okay. Yeah, that's going to simplify this quite a bit, in fact. If I, if I just pop them up into a bubble column. So take that out. Take this glass out for a minute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the water will start there. 
and then slide down. Okay. All right, so that'll go right down here. So let's get some... I'm going to go get some glass. I'm going to get some uh, soul sand and water. And some kelp. Because that'll make that easier. Okay, I think... This might get... This might get really interesting. And yeah, using the bubble column is going to be all so much easier. All right, so I've got a little bit of kelp here. See, there's my moss blocks. So grab a little kelp. And drop off some of that stuff. It's not necessary. The andesite, you know. All right, where did I put the soul sand? Because I came back with a bunch of it. I just don't remember where I put it. It's not that I have that many chests to search for it though so um, oh well that's not I think oops, that's not where that goes either all right well I've got some so good enough <laughs> I'll find the rest of it later and I'll be fine all right so let's grab a little bit of I grab a little bit of water. All right. So that I can fill this and... Oh, glass. I want some glass so that I can see that the villagers are going up. All right. So let's grab some water. Oops. I was going to just drive by and scoop it, but that's just not... It just didn't work at all. All right, so we'll whip around over here. All right, I think this is going to work. I think this will be works will be good. So let's dig this stuff out so I know where I need to be. Okay, now I know the villagers will go up the bubble column. I've done that a few times. Okay, so right over there. Oh yeah, this is gonna be, it's gonna be special. In probably a couple of different definitions of that word. All right. Okay, so this is the place. All right, I'm just gonna drop them off right here some nice iron hanging out here. Okay, cool. So let's open this up because that's where the rail is going to have to go. All right. I think because I took my shovel out of my offhand for reasons that are known to I don't know, probably somebody. Okay, so that's going to go there. Rail is going to go there. Bubble column is here. Take this out. Yeah, that'll that'll make this really nice. Okay, so take some of this glass. Glass is gonna come right come right there. Okay, so it'll, it'll go there and hmm. Try to decide if I want to how much I want to open this here too. Why do I have grass there? What's, oh, okay, that's the circuitry there. Okay, cool. That's good to know. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna dig through this wall just a little bit. I don't think I've got far to go. I could be wrong. I am wrong. I've I haven't come anywhere near this corner. Okay, fine. I was thinking, oh, I'll just dig through this real quick and connect with everything. I mean, I can do that. It's just it's just a little ways that way. So so I don't need to. But I do think. All right. So this is the spot. So we take 
oops, take this out, put the uh, soul sand in here. Cool. So that's going to go there like that. Put that back. Um, huh. All right, cool. So I think what I'll do, let's grab that black stone. Actually, some chiseled black stone might be good here, but I don't want to. I, don't, I just don't want to. I don't want to go craft it, so this is going to be fine. Okay, so, you know, laziness is the uh, the reason to build anything in particular ways, right? Okay, so now this is going to have to come out. No, actually, I think that has to come out. Because that's where the activator rail is going to live. Activator rail is going to go there. I'll power it, or power it or not based off of something inside here eventually. But for now, we'll just power it. Okay, now let's go ahead. I'm going to glass in this side. Okay. By glass in, I mean actually place glass and not, you know, Put the wrong thing in my inventory and my hot bar and just all that stuff. Okay. So the villagers will come this way. Um, I th think that will work. Now, there is an issue here potentially with waterlogged stairs. So I'll just bring this down here. Uh, but, or water, not waterlogged stairs, but water washing out the track aha cool right and that's one of the 117 changes right is that uh okay cool yeah because now you can do you can run water or run a uh, rail underwater which gives you all sorts of interesting possibilities And rail doesn't wash away anymore, apparently. So, all right, cool. All right, so that's gone. This is gone. So let's make sure this is out of the way so I don't accidentally end up relying on it and then trying to figure out why everything doesn't work when I don't want it to. Okay, so that's going to go there. Let's actually want to... Sticky this up a little bit. And the same. Okay, take this out for a minute. All right, so I want to do the same thing over here. I'm going to take this. This lovely, loveliness. Okay, take that up there. Slap down the stickies. All right, now. These guys are going to pop up here. Um, though, I think just for my own ease of viewing pleasure, I suppose, I'm going to put some glass here. This corner actually doesn't really matter, but... Okay, let's go and open that up. All right. So, let's... Uh, Parkour my way up this way. Throw a little light there. Okay. So now, what I need to do is I'll put some water there. And that's going to go down and break everything. Until I do this. Okay. Um. Oh, right. I got to take the... Take that out. Now it's a bubble car. Perfect. All right, cool. So that's that. I need to meander around, but... Or I'll just hop up this way. That's one, two. All right, cool. Okay, and so then the, the track will continue off in some random direction, approximately 
this way. So, actually, right, let's see if I can take that out. That was not the right block to take out. I'm going to take out the one that's holding my torch. That's the best option I can have here, right? I don't know what the worst option would have been, but that was definitely not the best one. All right, so this will come in this way. Awesome. All right. Oh, yeah, that'll be... I can, I can see good stuff happening over here. In fact, I've got a little redstone. This will be good. So I I'll, I'll, will definitely have to dig a trench over here. But, so that'll go that way. Or a trench, build a tunnel so I can get over here. But if I were to, let's say I build that up like that. Now can I, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Because I've got to get redstone to this preferably in a way that I guess I could just, yeah, I guess I could block that. I, I'm just trying to see how I want to make this look good. So if I were to put a switch Let's say I put a switch here. Oops, take the lever. If I put the switch here, okay. The, the switch, I want to run some redstone this way, right? I should turn that on so I can see that I'm actually powering it. Oh, and I am, oh, it's almost dark now. Great. Okay. So... I'd really like to be able to come under here, but I don't think this is going to work, right? If I come that way, right, because that doesn't actually power this block, right? It or it powers this block, but it doesn't power the rail that's sitting on top of it. Okay, I'm stuck now. I'm stuck and I'm lost and I'm scared. Okay, let's go find a nice, quiet place to sleep here, shall we? Let's see, I think the easiest way to do it... Well, just to go this way. This area is well enough lit that it should be fine, right? Should be okay. Probably don't have anything here that's... bad going on, right? Sure, sure. Okay. Nice. Okay, we got some some people bursting into flames over there, right? And that's that's a perfect place for them to do it. It's the creepers over here that are going to be a, a little bit annoying, but that that's fine. It's fine. Okay, so what I need to do is power I need to power that block. Now, I, I can do it this way, right? So if I were to come in, right, like this. Okay, now that's powered. So I can do it that way, right? And that's, and that's fine. Um, also, I should probably eat something. Food is good. I like food. Too much so. Um, oh, I need to run rail right over the top of this. On both sides. Well, cheese monkeys. All right, because I, cause I need to take, take a little rail, right? The rail's going to come in this way, right? And then I have to bring it back out this way so as much as i would like to uh do something there that might be a little bit harder than i would like <laughs> i mean honestly that should be should be fairly easy right at least that's the that's the hope and dream okay so that's gonna go there Um, 
Yeah, so... Great. So how do I get power to that? I don't know. I suppose if I were to... If I were to power this... Now this... The glass doesn't... Doesn't uh, transmit a signal. Okay. So if I put that there, grab a lever. Yeah, so that powers. Cool. All right, so I'll just do it this way. Or something. Uh, except this has to be glass. Nope, that, that has to be glass. Otherwise, my villagers die. Or get punched in the head, which is not quite the same as dying, but not nearly, um, and not nearly as permanent, but it doesn't make it fun. Okay. All right, so, great. And this is why, uh, <clears throat> this is why I do, don't do a whole lot of redstone. I can never really make it do what I want it to do. All right, well, fine. For now, I'll just, uh, <clears throat> I'll just put a thing there and call it a day. And I think I will put, obviously now this is gonna need to tunnel out, but I think what I'll do here is throw a torch there and let's grab a little powered rail all right, and the powered rail is going to come in this way. Give them a kick as they meander off that side. Okay. Cool. Oh, I should probably finish this stuff off here, too. Okay, so I think this is going to work. So hop in the minecart. The villagers will come this way. They'll pop into this thing. And it should eject them into the water stream, which will lift them up. There's a lot of ifs in this uh, scenario here. Well, shall we try it? I mean, what are the odds I, I actually built this in any sort of way that works? All right, so let's, yep, we'll just, all right, let's grab our sacrificial villager. You may or may not survive this, but. <clears throat> okay. So. Oh, dark. No, 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 no. That's bad. What happened to my. No, to my lever. I apparently broke it. I'm going to have to set that guy on fire. Um. All right. Where's the powered rail? That powered rail is always powered because I am an idiot. <laughs> because I put the redstone there. I don't want it to be always powered. I was thinking, oh yeah, I'll just... Uh, I'll just do something silly. Okay. It looks pretty, though. Alright, I'm going to have to... Uh, take this out. Okay, so this is... This is stupid. Alright. We'll do that. Fine. I'll take the trap doors out. Or leave them in. That's okay, too. Okay, so now... Now that's off. What would actually be really nice here maybe would be a... Uh, something. Okay. So that guy's just going to sit up there for a while. And uh, let's fire another one off. All right. So, villager goes sliding around this way. Doesn't get ejected. Good. He gets sucked in underground. And, oh, gets stuck. All right, cool. Well, 
the odds of me doing it right the first time were uh, definitely a lot lower than I would have liked. Okay. So let's come in, probably powered rail. Uh, she's coming down off the hill, probably right around here. We'll be good. Yeah, this should be fine. Okay, so we'll just run a little bit of powered rail here. And, uh, great, lever, lever. Uh, hmm. Do I not have a, okay, fine. Um, I'm just gonna drink this milk. Milk is delicious. All right, there we'll grab this lever. Boom, all right. Oh, and now he's that way. All right, I'll get out of the way. You go. You go where you need to go. I'll meet you there. All right, now. I should follow him, but. See if he's getting stuck anywhere else. But I didn't do that. Oh. Hey, good. Good place for you to get stuck. Okay, cool. So I think what I need to do here is take a little bit more glass. There could be the issue here because, because of the water. It may not want to eject him in this direction. All right, which is a definitely a thing. All right. Let's go give him a push and see if I can uh, see if this will work correctly. It's villagers. I have no clue if it's going to work correctly or not. I do know I've probably just pushed this guy all the way back to uh, back to where he came from. Did that give him enough juice to get all the way back? Oh, it did. Oh, it did. Great. And I'm out of inventory space. Cool. <sighs> all right. All right. I'll, I'll figure this out eventually, right? Okay. Let's put that in there. Um, you know, turns out when you have a zillion villagers locked into a little tiny space, they don't like it very much. They start complaining, which is fair, I suppose, but not at all what I want them to do. Okay, so let's meander right around this way. I will get this figured out. It, it'll happen. Okay. Let's sleep. We'll give this a try, see what else is going on. Hopefully it's, it's good. All right. Oh. I guess I can drop off this iron ore. All right. Let's go see where that villager ended up. Let's see. If he, did he end up just sitting on the rails over here? I mean, he could have ended up in a lot of different places, so. Oh, yeah. He's sitting right there. Cool. Let's see if I can push him back. Oh, ow. Let's see if I can push him back the other way. Because that would be good. Okay, so if I just... Come here. Let's see if I can hop up this way. Or, you know, not. All right. There he goes. There he goes. All right, so... He gets to go that way. He gets to go down underground. Okay, so we went this way. Went this way. And then... Okay, there's an empty mine cart. And there is a villager. Okay. Alright, so that's not going to work. 
I think what I'm going to have to do is eject him one block over. Okay, so that's okay. I can do that. So let's go ahead and put in some stuff there. I've got some ejector rail right here. That's okay. Yeah, because if I eject him onto that, it may take him a moment. But eventually... Oh, I'm going to have to put something there. Um, do I have... Uh, no, I don't. Do I have a crafting table? I do have a crafting table. Hey! Okay, now, do I have any form of wood? <laughs> I was thinking, look, gonna see. Do I can I craft a sign here? Short answer is no. Alright, let's just block that up so it's not annoying. Alright. So hopefully this villager will make his way back into the minecart. Alright, so basically what this is gonna do then is it's gonna go this way. Okay, activator rail is going to go there. This will go like that. Okay. It'll eject him to the right, which is what I want. Okay, I'll have to, I have to power it, of course, but let's uh, one thing at a time. Okay, so that's going to go that way. All right. That's going to go there like that. And I'm going to need some glass coming out like this. Cool. Okay, so he'll go that way. Get right there. He'll get ejected. I have to go get some signs. Yeah. To, to block that so the water is not uh, flowing there. But it should be good. Okay. Cool. So hopefully this villager will get caught back up into that, that minecart so we can test this. All right, signs, signs, signs. Signs are good. Um, all right. Let's see, I think I might have signs. Do I have the sign? I'm not ace of base, so I, I don't know. Ah, signs. Okay, they're acacia signs, but I think the acacia is actually going to be better than the birch, stylistically speaking. Is it going to make that much of a difference? Probably not, but, you know, a couple of, I could use trap door, or not trap doors, I could use gates, I suppose. But I think the signs are going to be fine. Okay. So let's go put put those signs in and uh, see if I can make this work. Yeah, apparently the detector rail, or the activator rail, excuse me, is not, it's not ejecting them into the hallway where he's got um, stuff. So, or because the, it's not ejecting them there because the water is there, right? So. All right, so we're going to just throw a sign right here. And we'll throw a sign right there. Boom. And now, I hope, it'll eject him in. Okay, so now let's just uh, do a quick... Hi. How are you? How are you? Hey, Manolia. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Thank you so much for that follow. That is uh, awesome and amazing. And I uh, hope your day is going well. All right. So that's going to go that way. This is going to go. I'm just going to take this off for just a moment to get him into the, into the Dealy Bob. Okay. We'll just... Uh, Chuck that cobblestone over there for a minute. Hi. Where's, where's my minecart? There we go. Hi. You want to be in that minecart? Yes, yes you do. You really do. It's a nice minecart. You, you really want to be in it. 
Apparently he doesn't. That which I don't know why. It's not like I'm going to lock him in a small box for uh, the rest of his life. Okay. Oh, you know what would be really cool? Powering that thing. Okay, so. How to power it in such a way that it works. Um, okay, so let's, let's do it this way. Pop it there. And I need to power this in a way that I can turn it on and off, but let's see, is that the... Ah, okay. So it should be this one. Lever. Okay. All right, okay, cool. That's on now, and I am now stuck. I don't want to be stuck. Can I be unstuck? Cool. Perfect. So now he gets e ejected there. And okay, <laughs> eventually he should float up. At least that's the the plan. Okay, and then he floats up, and he's just gonna bounce there. <sighs> Fabulous. Okay. So what I might have to do. Oh, actually, that might be okay. If I float the water up one more block. Oh, no, that'll be perfect. Okay, so water buckets. Okay. Yeah, so no, no. So st stay with me here as I think I've got this uh, sorted out eventually. That That's how everything gets done here. That gets done eventually. All right, so that's going to go that way. I'm just going to hop up here. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and scoop up some water. And I'm going to... Yeah, because he'll just sit there and bounce for eternity. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some water right... I'm going to need some more signs. Because I need to be sure the water doesn't flow down here and wipe out the string. Okay. Ha! Huh. I thought of it before I destroyed my my uh, redstone, so I'm making progress. <sighs> yes, I may in fact be getting better at Minecraft, as uh, unusual as it may seem. All right, so let's get... I think... I think I liked the acacia sign, so I'm going to stick with that. But I didn't want to drop off some of the stir. I'm keeping the... Uh... Actually, I don't need to keep this iron around either. I'm keeping the kelp around because I might need it. But let's see. Acacia. Do I still... I might be out of acacia. Oh, no. Uh, no, because you need six of them. Darn it. You need six planks to make... Ah, there we go. I do have some acacia. Cool. In fact, let's grab that stripped log. Cool. So we'll turn that into wood. We'll grab that. And that should be okay. So I'm going to need... No, I need one more. Because I'm going to need four signs. And sadly... The uh, recipe only gives you three, so so that's fine. That's fine. We'll be okay. No, actually, I only need two. I, I'm I'm I don't need four. Four is wrong. I have now flooded out my base. That is cool. <laughs> All right, did I cause myself lighting issues? No. All right, great. Smooth, man, smooth. I are the best Minecrafter because of stupidity. Yeah, that's, that's how this works. All right, that's fine. It'll be fine. Everything's awesome. 
All right, so we'll just hop over here. Let's grab a sign. All right, the sign, it can't be on that block. It has to be on this block. And I think I want to make that one glass. Oops, no. Let's uh, make that glass or maybe make this brick. Let's do it that way. Let's do it that way. Let's make this brick instead. Okay. I just want to be sure that the uh, villager doesn't decide to do something really silly. All right. So let's grab a little dirt because I apparently put it all in the, the box. All right. Well, fine. Fine. All right. Cool. So let's try this again. Grab the sign. The sign's going to go there. And that torch is going to have to move. That sign's going to go there. Cool. All right, so now that's going to sit there and flood. Now, he's going to sit there and bob for eternity unless, unless I come in here with a little water and flush him up that way. And now he'll eventually decide he wants to go get a job. Say just like that. Okay? And then if I decide to uh, send him the other direction, right? Pop that up. The water will flow that way. And he'll go this way. Okay? And if I uh, fall down here, I will break an ankle and uh, rack up at least $3 in medical bills. That, okay. All right, so I don't want them to go that way, though. I want them to come around this way. And I'm going to have to figure out how to trigger the activator rail in a way that I can actually reach it. But, all right, so let's meander down here. Minecart's there. Cool. All right. So make sure it ejects the guy that way. Cool. All right. So this should be fine. I really don't want to put uh, stuff there, right? Sure. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to trigger that, but I suppose I could do something with a redstone block or, you know, I don't know. But for now, it's just on. Okay, and I'm lost. Sweet. All right, so I've got this, got this minecart, and... Now, the only other thing I'm a little bit concerned about is getting the getting the villagers completely in and up that bubble column. Because the last guy seemed to have gotten stuck a little bit. And that concerns me just a little bit. All right, so he's going to meander around. Yep, there he goes. All right, so let's get over here and see if I can catch what's going on. All right, so he's going to meander around this way. Gets ejected. And now he's sitting there in, in the dry spot of the box, right? Now, eventually, he walks into the water. And nothing happens. Now, if I were to come over here, Hopefully he doesn't drown. Because that would suck. Okay, so. So let's see. Oh, good. He's he's up there now. Cool. All right, so let's just hop back up. I need a ladder or something over here. Oh, 
Okay, so now he should be, yeah. Yeah, he did. He just, uh, he ended up right there in the box. So it takes him a little bit longer because they've got to pause to pop up and go through that uh, water elevator. But they get dropped off and everything is fine. Awesome. Cool. So now I don't need, not going to need that block there. Okay, so other than needing to figure out good creative ways to trigger those and nice, a nice easy way of actually lighting this thing up. <sighs> okay, because that's, that's the next thing I need to figure out is how do I want to be able to trigger this from over here right because that's that's really the next thing on the list so i suppose what i could do let's say i want to put a switch here okay i'm going to turn that on and let's see now so that's going to go that way Let's come down here and do this. That's going to come out. Take out a little bit of this here. Okay. Actually, I can take out all of this because I can reroute that rail as I need to. So, basically, I need... Oh, this is going to look so ugly. All right. Well, ugly redstone is just how I roll here. So let's, let's do it. So that's going to go there and there, I think. And that, take that out. All right. So let's take this redstone dust. So if I come down this way, now that rail is going to have to come across that way. Okay. It's sort of like that. Okay. Now this redstone dust, take that out for a minute, just so I, I can walk through. This redstone dust is going to come out underground like that. Actually, let's throw a torch under there just to be on the safe side. All right, because that's going to go there. So this redstone can go that way. Nope, that's going to break it. Okay, and cool. So if I, <laughs> all right, so let's go this way again. This is welcome to <laughs> redstoning with the guy who doesn't know what he's doing. Brought to you today by me. All right. Boy, this is stupid. All right. So we'll just bring this down like that. Man, that's ugly. Okay. And that goes there. And this goes here. And I think maybe I will uh, replace this glass <laughs> with uh, bricks so you can't see through that. Okay. So, so that'll go that way. That has to stay glass, right? That can go like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how's it going there, blind? Uh, blind carp, welcome. Hope your day is going well and awesome and amazing. Okay, so that can go like that. I'll need to do a little bit of... Maybe a little bit of sliding this over just a touch. Eventually, this is going to have to go over there. But what I can do is I can run this rail there. That'll look a little bit better, and then I can power this, and it'll go that way, and everything will be great. Right? Sure. That is the plan, at least. All right, cool. Yes, how you doing, man? 
Hopefully you're having a uh, lovely Saturday morning. I'm going to get blown up. I'm going to step out of this hole and there's going to be a creeper there and it's going to, to uh, you know, fill me with his explosive goodness. Okay. Good so far. So far we're good. We're not dead. Okay. Yay. I'm inside. And I have steak. Let's put that shield away. I'm not using it now. I'm sure it won't have any consequences later in life. <sighs> All right. But I think, I think we've got it. All right. Really should harvest some of that sugar, but... All right. Okay, so that village is going to go this way. All right, let's see if this works so he's gonna run around that way cool just want to be sure I didn't accidentally stop him that would have been awkward all right so he's gonna run right over here right and then yep pop right on up and over and down he goes perfect now probably what I should do is put a little thing here to catch them when they pop up. But that that worked fabulously. Awesome. So now I can just start filling this uh, this whole row in. Sweet. All right. Well, that's that's great. <laughs> I love it. So I need to do a couple of things to make my life easier. But for now. Sweet. Cool. So then the idea is I will replicate this setup over in that corner so I can get villagers over onto that side. Yeah, this is going to be perfect. Or at least a reasonable facsimile of perfection. Really, is that... Is that, do we need more than that? Do we need more than a reasonable facsimile of perfection? Okay, my, okay, just the other side of the wall. Cool. Great, now I don't have a ladder, but I can go get, get one. All right, so now, and then in, I can just pop that off and boom, they'll, uh, they can continue on that way. I also need to have uh, reds deal with those switches in some way too. But for now, for now I'm good. I'll just leave them that way and call it a day. All right, so I can fire off. Actually, I can probably fire off a number of villagers here and should be okay. I'll give them a Give them a little space between them, right? Just to be sure they're okay. And they don't crowd up too much. But. So there goes the first one. All right. Goes the next one. Okay. I think I've got, I've got a few of these, so. All right. Cool. We'll take those villagers and we'll just let them meander over here. Oh, yes. This is going to be great. Okay. Yep. See, they just come over here. They pop up. Okay. That may be a problem. Okay. Come on, dude. Get out of the way. Okay. And the next one's in. All right. Good. Oh, that's definitely a problem. Okay, got to put a top on that. Uh, dirt's, dirt's the best thing ever. All right. Yep, absolutely. I may have a runaway villager. One of them got out. Yeah. Uh, it, it's tough when the prisoners with jobs get unhappy. Okay. 
All right, good. So that'll keep them from bouncing. Uh, oops. That'll keep them from bouncing right on out. Cool. All right, so let's go gather these things up. And I like it. I like it. Progress is being made. Let's, oops, I'm stuck. Go around. Go around. All right. So do we have anybody up there? Nope. Ah, oh, sweet. So I just need a bunch more, but I think this is... It's working! It's working! I love it. Do I have inventory space for more? I don't. Do I have uh, anything I can dump? Well, I can turn that into dust. Close enough. Oops. A little energetic there on that uh, on that one. All right. This is this is great. So, I want to throw the fire off another handful of villagers here. You know, just to keep this. Keep this charging along. Oh, yeah. This is going to be fabulous. Uh-oh. They're stuck. Because I've got a, I've got villagers stuck. Uh, all right, guys. Let's... Uh, oops. Can't go that way. Nope, nope, I can't go that way. There's a roof in the way. All right. Let's see if I can... Par nope. My parkour skills are non-existent at best. All right. Oh. Okay. Okay, so that's going to go this way. Okay, so he's off now. Um, this guy... Alright, I may have... To, I wonder if I can... I wonder if I can get a, just an empty minecart and get him up there. Maybe. I might... Oh, I might also be able to... I wonder if I can get powered rail up there, too. That's... That's a possibility. Okay. Nope, that's stuck. I think I'm about to have a free-range villager here. Okay. And that's just not ideal. All right, so let's see. How can I get this guy out of there? Yep, free-range villagers. Not what I'm looking for. But I'm sure he won't have any sort of accidental problems with lava or anything like that. I think I'm sure he'll be perfectly safe. Okay. Alright. Great. So, let's go ahead and throw this mine cart in the chest. Just like those ones. Cool. Alright. So, I don't know where that guy wandered off to. He's probably somewhere. Wait. All right, so now I can probably take my uh, scaffolding down here. All right. Yeah, so I'm just going to have to arrange for something bad to happen to that villager just because it's not his fault, but I'm going to hold him responsible for it because I took management training once, and that's just how it works. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yep. Hate to see it, but, you know, sometimes... Uh... Okay, so these guys now, I should just uh, pop right on out over here. Yeah, you can see it's starting to fill up the trading hall nicely. Or you would be able to see if this hill wasn't in the way. Okay. 
I might have a problem. It might be jammed. No, nope, they're good. They're just all hanging out over there. Cool. Alright. Now, eventually... Oops. Yeah, so this guy got stuck. Alright, I just need to give myself a little bit more railway to deal with uh, ejecting those guys. Alright. Cool. Um, I think I'm just going to... I'm going to have to give myself some more inventory spaces. How this is going to work. All right, cool. I'm gonna drop a bunch of stuff off. Come back, get some more hopper, more minecarts. Oh, perfect! This is this is working great. This is working fabulously. Took a little while, but we'll get we got there in the end. That's the important thing. All right. And so a bunch of these people are about to go get jobs. We'll bounce a couple of them over there. Just to, uh, just to let them do their thing. What? Oh, that's going to be fun. All right. So what do I want to drop off? Definitely drop off the sugar. Drop off the kelp for now. Trap doors are done for the moment. I guess I don't need the hoppers now either. Oh, sweet. This is working out okay. All right. So. So we're getting there. Oh, man. All right, so I've got... Oh, you know what? I can let me drop off some of this stone here, too. Just to... Just to free up a little bit more inventory space. Since right now, the... The biggest... Issue I've got with inventory space right now, or getting all of these villagers over, is inventory space to hold the, the minecarts to bring them back. Which would be then the next step, would be to... Uh, get those minecarts from over there back over here in a way that's actually useful to me. I have no idea how many villagers are there, but it's quite a few of them. All right. Yep. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Okay, so they're just going to meander over. Eventually, they'll hop over this way. They'll pop up. There we go. And eventually, they'll find their way over to pick up their their stuff. All right. I left a mine or a uh, thing here. Let's grab a couple of ladders. These are temporary ladders, but they'll work. Okay. So that's... Yeah. That one's just going to sit there and wiggle for a while. Got to go around this way. Okay. And. Let's see if I. Darn it. Pop the activator rail. It's not how that was supposed to go. You know, I have a, a very detailed script. It says absolutely nothing on it, but. It would be detailed if I actually wrote a script. That's not true. It wouldn't be detailed at all. I know me. Okay, so... Cool. So that's going to go that way. So yeah, I can turn that off here. Yep. Okay. Nice. Alright, so how many more of these do I need? Probably a, more than three. Right? Yep, that's definitely more than three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool. That I can do. <laughs> All 
All right, so let's go ahead and put those in there. All right, one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now, because I never actually got this uh, switch to work, I mean, it's... It's redstone. How hard could it be? I'll tell you how hard it could be. Too hard. All right. Let's go ahead and grab some stone here. And uh, can I put some redstone on top of that? I can. It won't do any good because it's broken, but or because the the circuit is broken. All right, so for now, I'm just going, going to, uh, I'm just going to cheese that for now. Until I figure out why it broke. Okay, there's a reason why it broke. I just don't know what it is. Okay. So for now, I've just turned off the breeder. Okay, cool. All right, so now these should be not quite full. See, what happens is the villagers get sort of stuck over there until they detect that there's a job site. And they should eventually meander over this way. Unless, unless it's too far away. But I thought... Ah, uh, could be. That would be annoying. That would be really annoying. Okay. Because oh, I thought... Because I should be able to go and around. But maybe that is too far. Maybe their job site detection range... Of course, I don't have job sites over here, so... They have nothing to detect. Okay, well, let's uh, change that. All right, so let's hop up here. I, uh, I actually need to turn the iron farm off for a little bit too. Because I think I'm just about full up of iron. Yeah, just about, not quite, but getting close. Unfortunately, I don't have an easy way of getting over here. Hitting the off switch, but all right. So I'll just I'll just uh, nerd pull my way up there. Uh oh. Okay. I'll try this again. All right. There. Those villagers will now get a break. Okay, and it'll just, it'll keep my uh, iron farm from overflowing. All right, so I need some job sites and I need some other things. Cool. All right, so let's do some stuff. Now, I don't have any job sites put down. Oh, hi, look at you being all over here. What are you doing on this side of the, the world, both of you? That's not right. That's not right at all. You're not supposed to be over here. No, you go that way. Yeah, yeah, seriously, that way. All right. Something's, something's screwy and I'm sure it's me. <laughs> So I need a couple of things. Um, but I think the first thing I want to look at doing is getting some uh, some masons. 
need some masons and I'm gonna need some uh, need some librarians. So that's that's gonna be part of the list here. All right, so let's see what I've got in the way of stuff. Here. So I've got got a couple of lecterns. That's great. Okay, so let's grab some iron. I don't need the sandstone. Let's see, stone cutters. I think it's is it slabs. Okay, stone cutters. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's just regular stone. Okay. All right. So let's let's grab some of those. Cool. All right. So we'll go give these guys some jobs and see if they'll detect them and end up drop down in the holes where they need to be. That's certainly the hope, anyway. All right, so that guy's going to get a job. That guy's going to get a job. Okay. All right. So now that's... Now I'm hoping... Yeah, see the guy's pushing? I think they might be starting to detect... They might be detecting those job sites. Yeah, I'll have to double check and see how far it is because that may that may screw up some of this it won't be a, a huge deal on this one because I can drop them off here I can drop them off over there once I get all of that set up in fact I'm going to want to take off my roof because now I want to be able to see the villagers darn it All right, and there, there are no beds for them to detect, so. They'll just sort of linger there, but they'll be safe. Or at least they should be safe for a couple of minutes anyway. Okay. All right, so let's just hop in here and we'll see what we can get. Hopefully. Hopefully something good, right? That's the... That is the plan, right? Okay. So... Got the pushy one going. Yeah, see, there are three job sites now over there. Yeah, it might be a little bit long. My hope is that I don't have to change out these guys too often on this side, so... If that's the case, it should be okay. Okay, so let's see. You guys are just refusing to uh, to take a job here, right? Okay, well, that's... Oh, he's got one. He's decided to, to be employed. Yep, these guys are almost all going to be... Well... Those guys aren't going to do anything because they're unemployed. He's trying to decide if it's worth it. It's like, well, if I go down there, I can have a job forever. Or I could stay up here and just look stupid. Got news for you, dude. You're going to look stupid both ways. So you might as well get the job. I mean, it's the story of my life, so... Yeah, you'll be fine. Go for it. Okay. So they'll eventually get there. Let me go get my, uh, go pick up those mine carts. Yeah. So what I might have to do, I might have to change this. Um, and that's going to be annoying. So I, I, was, I thought this would be a great idea, right, to, to hop these guys up. And it works. Oh. What are you guys doing down here? You must be the new guys. Okay. 
All right, so. Yeah, so they'll eventually get over here and find the jobs. Okay, cool. I don't know what's up with these guys. Where they're not picking up their... Their job site here. Is it because the... I don't think it's because of the trap door. I mean, they're standing right next to it, so I think they should pick it up. Huh. All right, well, I don't know. I'm just going to sit here and be confused. Sound a lot like a villager. Just, hum, hum, hum. Okay, see, I was, I was hoping, with the way I set it up, that... Uh, I could use those back corners just like I've done here and everything would be awesome, right? They'd just drop in, they'd walk over, but the, uh, and they will eventually, right? Eventually these guys will, you know, bump noses, I suppose. Th this is not the place. Okay. It sounds like you're, looks like you're sharing one big nose. Anyway, they should meander over here. Get, you know, get the job site and and be fine. Um, huh. Yeah, these. Though it is sort of confusing me why these guys aren't picking up their jobs. Oh, I've got. This one guy got his. But the rest of these guys, they're not. They're just sort of sitting there. Almost went uh, a little wrong with that one. Just sort of sitting there not picking up the jobs. Which is weird, but kind of strange. <sighs> okay, so that's going to be annoying. If I'm going to have to drop them off in the middle... Sort of like this. I mean, I can do that. <sighs> Drop them off where they can... Uh, eventually do their thing, but... Wow. <sighs> That's... That's going to be a problem. All right. Yeah, so I could... With the corners, I can fill in this back part not without an issue because I can say, oh, well, if I'm filling from the left-hand side here, I can just eject them, put them in the, the thing, and they'll go. Or if I'm filling the right side, I can do the same thing, and they'll just slide right on over. But if I'm... But if they won't detect the end of this trail from there, which seems like they're not, then what I'm going to have to do for both of these sides, I guess these cartographers aren't going to make a whole lot of difference, but then I'm going to ha just have to, to rebuild this, drop them off in the middle. Well, I mean, I, I guess I can do that. It's not that big a deal. It's just... Okay. So, what I might do then... See, I've got this coming up. I was just going to build a, a little bit... Build a sort of arch thing going here. You know, for the gate. And then let the... You know, so the minecart would go up. Obviously, it loops around there. I could just have it loop all the way around at that level on both sides. I mean, that would be okay. You know, and then, I, then it can just... Uh, or I could have it loop... Underneath that kill chamber. Well, it's, uh, that's going to be messy. This whole thing is going to be messy. This is why you plan things, kids. All right. All 
right, all right. So... Huh. All right, because, yeah, the... Man, this is... This is going to be weird. Okay, now, this tower is going to come out to here. So I actually have room within the tower that I could pull the minecarts up and around and then just run them along the outside here. Right. Drop them off here in the middle. Just like I've got this contraption here. Drop them off in the middle. If I do it around that side, then the minecart will be coming this way. So it'll eject in the right direction. Okay. And then I could even have it the cart continue this way. Drop down over here and end up in a chest or something over that way. Or I could run it around and which would be the smart thing. Run it back over and so I can feed it back into this dispenser here. Right, so that I can load the dispenser back up and go get some more villagers, right? All right. That's the way I'm going to have to do this. This is going to be a little crazy, but... So I'm going to have to change my setup, take out what I've done on the sides there, rebuild it in the middle, and it should be okay. Now, the reason I have to do it, even though I've, I've filled in these job sites is that uh, right because now they've all decided to to get there boy these guys were slow picking up their jobs oh infinity okay I may have to do something about that one I don't tend to use bows as much but having infinity on a bow is is nice so also I'm starving to death no wonder I can't run. Okay. Let's grab a couple of steaks and do that. Mm, but infinity is, an, is a good trade. So, I've got a book. There's a book. That's a horse armor. There's a book. And I've got some... Let's click the right one. Some emeralds. Just enough, in fact. All right. Well, that's fine. I can do this after I sleep. That's fine. I can I can get a nice infinity enchantment on a bow and though I tend to be a I'll have to double check too. I mean, it'll be nice to get that on a bow anyway. Especially if like for the dragon fight and things like that. But I tend to be a crossbow guy. So I'm not sure if uh, infinity is usable on a crossbow. I could be wrong. It might be. Okay. Yeah, I want to trade these guys up or trade them, get them all uh, trained up so that I can um, hopefully get uh, all of the different types of blaze terracotta. Right, so... So that would be nice. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is I need to take another quick run to the, the restroom. So I'm going to go do that. Refill my water bottle. And let's see what else I can do here on the side. So I will be back in just a moment. So you bone meal bra bras? Oh, no, 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 do not. That, that's not how this works. <sighs> no, we don't need to put bone meal in bras. That's just, just not. I don't think there's any part of that sentence that is, that is good. No, no, I don't think so. No, I don't even want to go there. It's family friendly, family, family friendly, family friendly. Keep that family friendly. Okay. <sighs> So you bone meal bra bras? Bo no, 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 do not. That, that's not how this works. <sighs> no, 
we don't need to put bone meal in bras. That's just just not. I don't think there's any part of that sentence that is that is good. No, no, I don't think so. No, I don't even want to go there. It's family friendly, family family friendly, family friendly. Keep that family friendly. Okay. Maybe a bandana. No. I, I, I don't need to put a bandana around its neck. I don't. I don't. I'm going to now, but I don't need to do it. What are you doing to me, people? What is wrong with you? This was supposed to be a simple creeper statue. And now... It, it, it's, it's, it's... I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Okay, I am back. And I forgot to mute before I left, so you got to hear all the clunking as I put my headphones down and all that fun stuff. So, so yay, I guess. Yeah, got a bunch of mending books. I was doing some training earlier, so. So that's good. All right, so let's see now. If I want to do that, let's... So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to have some big towers that way. I'll run the rail around here. It's going to have to come around. I guess it doesn't have to come around. It could go. It could just dive down underneath this and back up. That's going to lead to some interesting shapes, I suppose. Hi, what are you selling? More drip leaf, which I've got. Green dye is not as helpful as it could be. All right. Be gone with you. Hmm. All right. Well, what I might do then is uh, we build. I, I shoot I don't know where I want to put this since that's obviously not going to work there in the corner I mean it did eventually I so maybe I won't worry about it it's just these guys are going to take a lot longer to get over to their their job sites if I have to uh, fire them unfortunately for those villagers that is a much more literal uh, word than they know Okay. Yeah, so it's taking them a moment to get their jobs in, but they're picking them up here slowly. All right. Cool. The other thing I need to do, at least you know, in all of these, is I need to get the, uh, the monsters in here. Get the zombie in to, you know, eat these guys. Okay, so I need to get him in on that side. That's easy. This other side should be easy too. It's just I've because I've dug out all the stuff for the the elevator. That might be a little bit harder. It won't be super hard, but yeah, that's not too bad. It's just gonna be a little bit of a pain for me to get out. But that's fine. I can I can deal with that. Sweet. All right, cool. So we've got another wing done. So I need to get... Uh, shoot, I, shoot, I need to get all the acacia. I need to get all of that other stuff there sorted out. And I really need to find a better way of doing a couple of things here. So let's hop over here, first of all. Uh, one of the first things I want to do is change out this glass for uh, stone brick, or black stone brick, actually. Okay, so that's going to run across the top of this channel. All right, is there any... Don't need to worry about light. I think I've got enough light happening on the outside of this. Should be okay. 
Yeah, that's fine. Cool. All right, so I need to get a uh, zombie in there. I need to get a zombie in here. So let's let's prep all of that stuff, and then I'll go do that. Or, well, I'll do that when night falls. Okay, so, so this one... So I'll get the zombie in here. I can outrun him this way. All right. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. So I'll just... Okay. I'll just open up this side. Because uh, I can drop out. So it's just a matter of uh, hoping the zombie actually picks up something. And then I have to outrun him back this way and close this up. All while not getting my face eaten. Which, uh, big fan of not be having my face eaten. Okay, so let's grab those. And I'm going to craft up a couple of iron swords here. So what I want to do is I want to give these swords to the zombies. It'll make them a little bit more dangerous to me while I do this, but it'll make it a lot more dangerous to the villagers when I f feed them to the zombie. So, so that's going to be fun. All right. Sure. How many golden ingots did I leave myself? 26, huh? Cool. So I've got some villagers I need to uh, cure. And that's going to be enough for... Let's see, what's it? Four ingots per apple? Crud. Okay, so that's like six apples. It's not too bad, actually, because I've got... How many of these guys do I have stuck over here that have been in a zombie state for a while? I've got a couple. So I think those guys are all fine. Uh, I've got my farmers over here. Got some clerics over here. I think these guys are all okay. So I've got some gaps I need to refill, which I need to, because I have to redo this whole side anyway. To put the automation in, just like I've got over on that side. Okay, okay, I can deal with that. Sure, fine. Night is, night's falling here, so it's... What we have to do is let's take out take out one rail here so that the uh, zombie will follow me. But and I should probably eat. <laughs> I like being uh, healthy before being fed to to uh, zombies and stuff. It's it's a weird thing, but. 100% true. Okay, so now make sure I know what I'm doing. That's uh, always a difficult qu thing. Alright, so bring the zombie in. block that. I can outrun this way. And I'm going to need a way out. Okay. So this is... That's easy. Way out. Engaged. Alright. So I can... There. I'll be able to run out this way. The zombie won't be able to follow me. Oh, I'll just need to be able to uh, trap him on the other side. I'm probably going to fall down there and die. That's that's not ideal. Let's go ahead and close that up. Also keep any zombies and whatever from getting into my machinery down there. All right. Well, night's falling soon, so this is going to be interesting. Also... Just to be on the safe side... So nothing walks in there and 
gets to the rest of my villagers. Oh, you know, because of that, yeah, I'm going to have to get be sure I get zombies from this side of the world. Fortunately, there should be a few. All right. Okay. Well, here we go. Zombie madness. All right. So, okay, that's a creeper. I don't need the creeper. I do need the zombie. Hi, zombie. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. Come with me. I've, I've got a job for you. In fact, here. Well. Uh, yeah. Come here. I have a sword. You want the sword? Have the sword. Perfect. Come with me. Yeah, you're going to love this. It's going to be great. You're going to have villagers to eat. It's going to be wonderful. Okay. Okay. Yep, that's right. Come with me. That's right. That's right. We got this. Now, see if I can outrun him to the other side. Should be able to, but let's just be sure. Plop. Boom. Okay. Hi. All right, so the next one. All right, so now we're going in this this door here. All right, cool. Zombies. Oh, zombies. I am looking for you. I have for you a job. Oh, that is a spider. Okay. Spiders I do not have jobs for. Zombies, on the other hand. I need unthinking workers. Zombies are perfect. But uh, they're also not here. Skeletons and creepers and things. That's not ideal. Oh, hey. Okay. Oh, hi. Um, yes. Yes. Sure. Um, here, one of you pick that up. Perfect. The armored guy. Just what I needed. Come here, armored guy. All right. Great. That's right. You just meander down this way. Cool. Okay, so he's not going anywhere. Oh, this was this was ideal. Um, smooth, man, smooth. Okay. Okay. I have uh, I have screwed up. Okay, come on. You guys uh, just want to come this way? All of you. That's fine. You can all come this way. That's perfectly fine. Um, oh, yeah. This was a mistake. Uh, nope. The zombies are coming. And that's not perfect for me. Okay. Okay. You guys want to, like, come back this way? Hi. Um... That's not where that goes at all. Here. You may or may not pick that up, but... Okay. Oh, good. They're, uh... All right, where's... Hey, gold guy. That's right. You, come with me. Okay. Let's see. Okay, no, no, don't, don't hit me with the, the axe. Okay. Hey, remember uh, when I was playing that game uh, last time? All right. Okay, come on down. That's right, that's right, all of you. All of you, that's fine. Okay. All right, so that goes there. Now, let's get over there and lock him in. Oh, 
Okay. Well, that zombie's got a lead. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Um, now I think I need to sleep. <laughs> this this is going to be an interesting uh, morning. All right. Woot woot. We're, uh, we're having a good time. I just keep telling myself that. Okay, so they're all going to burst into flames. All right, cool. You just continue your flaming goodness. All right. Now, somebody got some llama. All right. Okay. I'll just end up in there now. All right. Oh, hi. How are you? Are you going to come play? I didn't think so. All right. So let's come around over here. Make sure this is all closed up the way it needs to be. And then we should be good. Oops, where's my dirt? Right. There it is. Right there. Perfect. Let's just take a quick look. Yeah, see this guy, this guy in the golden armor has the sword, so he'll be good. Okay, back away. All right. Oh, hello, skeleton. Wow. It's nice of you to dress up in your lace and stuff, but honestly, you didn't need to. And it would have been better had you just stayed home. I find that true of most parties, actually. Uh, I could have gone to this party, and but honestly, if I had stayed home, I'd have had a lot more fun. Okay. Meanwhile, this poor guy no longer has llamas. All right. Hi. Okay, cool. So I think we're pretty well set there. Okay, I've got these villagers kind of stuck up here in the wrong place, but... All right. Cool. Back door is in place. Just the, the rail line protecting them. Cool. All right. So now I've got got the zombies hanging out back here. Right. Right there. There's that guy with that sword. Cool. And then this this guy. He's this guy is fabulous, right? He's just. See, he's got the shiny enchanted gold armor. He's got an iron sword. Oh, yeah. He's going to eat these villagers. All right. So if I were to drop down one of these guys. Right, it, it should keep the... What the zombie should make his way over. Yep. Ta-ha! Fooled you! Ha, 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 ha! You thought you were going to have some lunch. Okay. So he won't despawn because he's got the sword. I actually have a second zombie in there. Uh, who may despawn at some point because he's just there. He was an extra. You know, sometimes the extras get good screen time. And sometimes they just get fired and thrown off the set. But it's okay. All right. Nice. So now I can I can get this side all set up. And I can finish getting this side set up. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. That will work. All right. Well, that's definitely going to be an issue. But okay. Cool. Well, I think I'm going to uh 
call it a day here. I'm going to go grab some lunch and uh, figure out what's going on. See if I can get this green screen uh, frame put together and all that good stuff. Because I'm excited about that. That'll be fun. So we'll just uh, slide in here and uh, whip over to the webcam. All right. So, <sighs> yeah, so that was fun. Definitely want to thank all of you for joining me today. It's, it was exciting. I'm, I had fun, um, getting the nether, breaking the nether roof, getting all that stuff, uh, and then getting my, the next side of my <laughs> villager trading hall working and such. So, ah, <sighs> yeah. So big shout out to resubs, follows, all that good stuff. Thank you all so much. You can, of course, also follow me on Patreon at patreon.com slash musicforgaming for exclusive content and a secret discount code at the uh, merch store. So check that action out. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, um, TikTok. I don't post a lot on Instagram, but, but definitely Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. Follow me there. Join the Discord. All that good stuff. And I think I want to go throw a raid out to... Um, to Misty Joy, I think. Misty's a fun, uh, is a fun streamer, so we'll go check her out. Family friendly uh, streamer. She's she's also working on a villager trading hall, so so all sorts of good stuff there. So be sure to check her out, spread the love, and uh, until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off.